Uh, hey guys, how you doing? First podcast of 2024. We coasted through the holiday season. Hope you guys had a good holiday. How was yours, Boob? You do good? Uh, it was, yeah, it was standard affair. Um, awesome. pretty typical go home, see the family, um, a uh, regular array of gifts, plant, uh, some clothes, uh, some novelty bangles. The cups. magic of, of Christmas dwindles as you get older. Just kind of a yeah. sad affair. Yeah. Having kids revitalizes it, but you also get to, it's kind of, uh, it's bittersweet because you realize how much work your parents put into putting Christmas together for you as a kid. And then there was several years where I was in like, um, was that called? Will I was willfully ignorant of the fact that Santa doesn't exist, mm-hmm. and and I was I was way too old. I was like twelve, and I was like, no, nah, he exists. And so like my dad still had to like carry the gifts in at like one in the morning <laughs> while I was uh, in my Poor room bastard. sleeping. Yeah, <laughs> that shit sucks, dude. <laughs> that shit sucks pretty bad. Yeah, having to just, set all that up. I was just about to say like, yeah, it's crazy too. When you get older, it's like. People stop trying to make the magic around you, but yeah, it's probably just very tiring. To, it is, yeah, it is. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do it. My my dad's family is still pretty good about, you know, they all put on their little PJs and they get, open up all the presents in the morning. But I got there like an hour late, so everyone was just on the couches, like, oh, I'm gonna go take <laughs> yeah. a nap. I just ripped through mine alone. I was there for 20 minutes. Because everyone's like, oh, we need a nap. Like, the whole family apparently had, like, the best breakfast ever. And, you know, they got so excited. they just went back to bed? Well, also, apparently my stepsister woke up everyone in the house at, like, 5 a.m. It was like, (laughs) Santa, like, the Christmas presents are here, you know. Yeah. She is, like, an adult. And she just, that spirit of Christmas really takes over that family. And my mom says was there for, like, four days, just kind of going, like, stir crazy. That's good. But it was guys, I met a lot of, I met a lot of, I have these cousins in this whole side of the family from my grandpa that like no one knows really. And they somehow know kind of what I do, but like no one in my family, except for maybe my my sister, like knows my username. And they all just assume I'm like Mr. Beast or something like level. Yeah. And I was wearing this watch I got at a thrift store. And I went over and met them, and it was just, like, 10 fucking, like, 11-year-olds. You know, it's already so overwhelming. And my little sister afterwards was like, yeah, they were all saying, like, you're wearing a Rolex. Like, yeah, he is rich. He's got a Rolex on. Like, what the fuck? And every yeah. time I go over and interact with them, they'd all just be like, <laughs> like this is so awkward and unnatural. Yeah. And their moms are like, oh, don't worry. Like, we won't, like try to find you or anything like okay like i already hate talking about this in real life with anyone let alone family and then like now i've just got like 13 like cousins that are fans of me even though they don't know what they're fans of yeah they just know i vaguely do something that mr beast kind of does yeah you're like no i don't really at all (laughs) you know you're you're like if uh I don't know. You made it out of Mr. the Mr. Beast. Out, like weren't successful. You made it out of the trap. You yeah. know. Yeah. You don't have a trap. Yeah. You don't. I'm now in the square day job in a scarier neighborhood in Indianapolis. <laughs> yeah, you're uh, in the worst no, neighborhood. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> I was but gonna liken I, you I to like going trap. back to the ghetto and then be like, he, yeah. he's a professional football yeah. player now or something. Yeah. Or you made it in the rap game. You're in, you're inspirational to those kids because you're like. For white people, you can either have a successful job being like, uh, you know, just a regular person with a boss, or you could be an influencer. That's huge. That's like being a rapper to a white person. Yeah. (laughs) I'm I'm an influencer. (laughs) And uh, if you make it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You're big to them. I made it into the hood. I'm. Yeah. (laughs) You made it into the hood. That rocks. Uh, I make so much money, I pay less rent now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I get it, because like, if I were a kid and... Yeah, you see what I mean, your parents like, are, and it's my, depressing. My, my step-uncle just had a computer when I was a kid, and I thought he was like the coolest <laughs> guy ever. So yeah. He had a computer with a handle on it that he'd take places, and he showed me Steam oh, is when it I the- was like... 
Macintosh? Young. I don't. With the, with the handle on top? No, it was like a PC built. Oh, okay. And he was like one of the first people that ever showed me Steam. He was the first person. And it was at a fucking Christmas at his mom's house, my stepdad's mom also. And they are they probably have the most boring house in the world because they're Mennonites that live in the flattest part of Indiana. Is a they're Mennonite like, with a Mac? They're or like with a, with a computer. He's not a Mennonite. He's oh, he, he brought one to the Mennonite household. They can have technology, but like my step grandpa was Amish until he was like twelve. Mm -hmm. So they're all just oh my god! You walk in that house and it's like I don't even want to think back to this. You know, I had a good Christmas this year. We don't go there anymore because of falling out. We used to every year, and the grandma would like sing from this Bible songbook and make us all sit there and read. And they think I'm like 12, even when I was like 18. So I'd have to sit there with all the kids and just be like, oh, <laughs> yeah. and they'd be like, okay, like, Sam, do you know where like where we, where we are in the Bible? And I'm like, I'm not even like, <laughs> I've never done this. What is going on here? Anywho, he brought a computer to that house and was like, we can play games. Blew my fucking mind. And also like salvation from, they do have some good board games there. I will give them that. They have a couple good board games in that house. But besides that, just, oh my God, it's awful. Yeah, that sounds horrific. It's one of those houses too where everything's so still. Like there's no, everything just feels so old. Yeah. It's a classic grandma like fucking crazy. Yeah, you walk in, it's like a fucking museum. It's like things from the 70s and 80s are all still completely intact too. Like they the basement is all yeah. their toys, like all their old Star Wars toys and shit. Is also kind of cool. Okay, this house is actually awesome. <laughs> yeah, but they never had a computer in it. I was this guy I, it. when you were at first describing it. You were like Mennonite house. I was thinking the house from Courage the Cowardly Dog. Oh it's just God. like the only it's decoration is like drapes, <laughs> and that's it. It's like but that. And like now process. you're talking about like it's a kind of a, I don't know, like a time capsule to a, a time. It is like a time, time capsule. It's those are charming in their own way. When my yeah. when my great aunt died, we went over there, and she had she hadn't bought anything new since like the eighties, and and then everything was just still there. But all their know? stuff sucks. <laughs> yeah, it's like going to a Lowe's <laughs> as a kid. Like yeah. you don't get it. You're there, and you're like, where the fucking where's the GameStop? <laughs> but now that I'm an adult, I can go to a Lowe's and be like, oh, this is really cool. Look at all these little things. Like, yeah, I'm not. Even I don't know what they do. Necessarily but... handy by any means. <laughs> Uh, you know, I go into a Lowe's, I'm like, I'll buy some little components and stuff and some things. If yeah. I went to that house now, I'd probably be like, mm, this is a nice antique. Uh, what is this? <laughs> you know, how old is this wood? Is this wood made out of glass? I'd be tapping on a lot of stuff, checking it out. Probably scoping out for when they die, to be yeah. honest, because they're old. But I noticed there's a lot of that talk around old people. They're like, is that like, is there any chance I can get that? Dude, you? I'm getting that talk. Yeah. It's freaking me out. Like people know something I don't know. Because I did a New Year's party, kind of. Like, it wasn't even... It was just, like, a bunch of people from my hometown. And some indie guys. And people were coming around my house and, like, looking at my shelves of antiques and, you know, oddities. And they'd be like, hey, Sam, like, this would be a great, you know, wedding gift. Or, like, hey, Sam, like... They're when shopping you, through yeah, your like, stuff. Yeah, they're like, if you die, like, can I have that? And people have, like... There's, like, a hierarchy of my friends that have put dibs on different shit in my house. And at the end, I just gave some of it away. I'm like, fuck, I'm not going to wait till I die. Like, I only kind of like this thing. Like, here you go. Uh, you caved? Away. I caved a little, yeah. But also, I like gift giving, you know? I like yeah. giving. It's a joy it brings I would have burned it. Yeah. <laughs> I would have yeah, burned like it in front painting? of them. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I hate the painting I turned into a zombie. Or <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna kill you. Um but it was it was a little I realized though it's like pff, I do have some cool stuff because these people want it. Yeah. And I do that oh no. Are you am I here? <laughs> no, not really. You froze. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hey guys, uh, new year, new us over at 4Ed Fables. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our sponsor for today's episode. Hopefully a good episode. No way of knowing that currently, but let's hope it was a good one. Um, uh, oh, <laughs> oh guys.
realize you should be eating factor food and factoring it into your food equations because um food's food's so expensive right uber eats uh doordash GoPuff, things of that nature grocery stores oh boy a lot can happen at a grocery store anything could happen at a grocery store probably bad if factor's got 35 meal choices you know a week with uh 55 weekly add-ons so factor that into your when you're factoring stuff in skip the overpriced takeout trap okay uh go with factor it's cheaper it's more delicious than takeout and you get chef crafted restaurant quality meals delivered right to your door uh um not only does factor offer to offer fast simple solutions when i'm too busy to cook they also help me stay on top of my goals i have a lot of those i have a lot of goals i have a lot of things that keep me busy uh with offerings like protein plus and keto uh head over to factormeals.com slash forehead 50 and use forehead 50 to get 50 percent off that's code forehead 50 at factormeals.com slash forehead 50 to get 50 percent off i never stopped mine oh should i stop mine for a... that's fine he can sync it up okay yeah good yeah, luck stop yeah. <laughs> you can sync that shit up <laughs> okay quick say that yeah. thing again oh, no. i'm just kidding but anyway what what happened yesterday? uh the, just like tornadoes touch down randomly yeah. And start oh, yeah. throwing wind around like crazy, <laughs> and the uh, yes, our internet w and power went out for like the entire day yesterday. So it's been kind of spotty. That sucks. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah, but a bunch of people in my stream were like, "Is Sam okay? Are the tornadoes killing him?" I was like, "Uh oh." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I forgot to check. <laughs> no, they. Uh, okay. It just rained a lot. Abby came in freaking mm. out. I was like, "What the hell?" What is, is, there to, is she one of those that goes yeah, down the basement Yeah, as soon as right the away? hurricane, like, they're like, you know, you might want to evac. She's like, we need to go up into the mountains. Mm -hmm. I'm like, do you understand how far inland we are? Like, we, like 400,000 people would have to be wiped out before it would get to us. Stranger things <laughs> have happened. I don't know. This is we're like one of the tallest points in Florida. Like if if we get fucking wiped we're, out, we're ten feet above sea level. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I think it might be like eighty five feet above sea level or something. It's not much, but the fact that there's a little bit, like yeah, it had to be some some insane like hurricane for it to take us out. Yeah. Then again, actually, really, what fucks you over is just the lack of power for a week. Yeah. We no. usually don't have any power, and she's like, "Let's go. Let's run from this place." And um, uh, then, but then you come back and it's been a week, and, and your house hasn't had any power. And then the mold the, the, is growing, and the the house food's is all going you, apart. Yeah, you do need to like kind of be there to pick up the the mess as soon as it happens. But I uh, I don't know that that was that was yesterday. Actually, I, important thing. Oh yeah, I do want to say times are tough. Things are getting more expensive out there. After Christmas. I went up to the mountains with the family to go uh, experience the wonder of snow. They've never seen snow before. And while I was up there, I went to the Food Lion, which is their uh, their grocery store. It's kind of like a Winn-Dixie. Uh -huh. Like and a Piggly Wiggly or something? Yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah, that, that okay. type vibe. And in the back, they had pork jowls mm. for $2.30. I saw that and I said, $2.30 for some meat. That's nothing. You know, so I grabbed some pork jowls, brought it home. I think that's a dog treat. Uh, no. Okay. Pork jowls is a life hack now. Okay. Okay. There is, there is, I feel like this is a defining moment in my life oh my where God. there's pre pork jowl Sam and post pork jowl Sam. Okay. <laughs> What are you doing with all your money that you need to be buying four dollar <laughs> pork chops for your family? No, I'm, I'm telling you, dude. If you go get bacon, you go get bacon. It's like six, seven bucks or something. Yeah. Like six bucks a pound is pretty common. Pork jowl tastes exactly like bacon, and you can get it cut thicker, so it's better. Two dollars and thirty cents a pound. Man, pork jowl, right here, dude. Pork jowl is insane. Abby wouldn't eat it. The kids wouldn't eat it. They said it tasted funny, but I loved it. Okay, I ate up. An entire pig's worth of pork jowl while I was up in the mountains. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. Next time you guys go to the fucking butcher or I'm, I'm yeah, googling grocery store, or whatever, look up some pork jowl. It's great. It, 
it does look like they've prepared it like bacon. It like bacon. A picture of it. Yeah, it, it does. It's, it's, yeah, it's good. Like a, it's it's like good, a nice dude. picture of Canadian bacon and mm-hmm. regular and, and bacon. When I picked it up, I was like, something is compelling me to buy this. And I realized what it was. That His guy we've been talking so about, that uh, that uh, uh, outdoor boys. Oh yeah, when he's he out there with it. his little honey butter, he also unwrapped a big ass thing of pork jowl and was just cutting it off and mm. putting it in a pan. And I was like, I, I, I was like, I've mm. heard of pork jowl from somewhere, and someone's saying it's good, so that's why I got it. Damn right, dude. Outdoor boys wins again. It, it's it's just like bacon. It seems like a good spot of the the meat too, because yeah. It's, it's what's taught. It's rubbing against all the food while they're eating. Yeah. You know, it's getting in all their food and stuff, probably <laughs> soaking up some ingredients or something. Yeah. Like the humans they eat in the <laughs> dirt or whatever pigs do. But I just, uh, uh, I'm scared though. I don't want to spread the word too much because. Oh, because you're talking. Yeah. Well, now you've said now it, it on a podcast. Well, the, the and prices are going to go up. Prices are going to skyrocket. Yeah. Because I've heard that's what happened to flank steak. I heard flank steak was super cheap. Mm. People would use it for fajitas and stuff. And then, and now all of a sudden, that's like the hot shit. And so it's yeah, like a wait, shitty cut steak? of meat. I was going to say, I thought it, that was super, cheap. It's gone up. It used to be just like, I should have invested. Absolutely dirt poor. Yeah. I should have been. You need to be cornering the market on pork, pork chow. I need to open up a pork <laughs> chow uh, butcher. I only specialize in pork chow. I cut it as thick as you want, there's baby. A, you want some fat boy back? There's just whole dead pigs <laughs> with the jowl cut out. The serial killer shit. I'm just taking rest. off yeah. the lower jaw. That's it. <laughs> the rest of it's trash. <laughs> oh, you want regular bacon? Go to go to some other dog go shit for Kroger. That. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. Uh, and also another little life hack okay. while I was there, they had a uh, you know like a, a wood stove, cat piss water. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, no, they had an old timey wood stove, mm-hmm. right? And I see those, and I go, oh, "The man in me needs to build a fire." Yeah. So of course I started. I put a fire in that thing immediately, and then I was like, "Oh, you know, we got fire going." I don't get to have those too often in Florida. It doesn't get too cold here. And then I was like, fires. what if I do a little s'more? So, you know, I went down to the food line, got me some uh, s'more makings, some s'more fixings. And while I was <laughs> sitting I want to throw a little pork chow on there. <laughs> Put some pork chow on there. <laughs> uh, while I was sitting there twirling my marshmallow, I was like, oh, I'm going to get all this ready. You guys basically above the Mason-Dixon line have probably already figured this out, but this is a complete revelation to me. You take... The, the biggest thing that happens, the worst part of making a s'more over a campfire, is your fucking Hershey's chocolate never really quite melts. Because the so marshmallow is not hot the enough. Marshmallow. Yeah. Well, no, the marshmallow is not quite hot enough to make it melt all the way. If you take your graham cracker and place it just on top of the wood stove while you're making your marshmallow with the chocolate on top of it, it toasts because the fucking wood stove is so goddamn hot. So I'm toasting my graham cracker with my chocolate on there. I put the, it was the best s'more I've ever had. I was insanely high at the time, but I was like marveling over this s'more. It was incredible. I've never heated the graham cracker. What I do is put the chocolate, the Hershey's inside the marshmallow and then stake that. That way it melts inside and gets gooey in there. Wait, you take just a stick and put it into the middle of a stick of chocolate and shove it into into the the marshmallow marshmallow and then heat that up and it oozes out whoa that's kind of also a little a little tech tip but now mixing that with your tech of mm-hmm. heating up the graham cracker the toasted the, graham cracker that's a life changer that's you could have the hottest s'more ever <laughs> yeah. it could be the the temperature wise the hottest i've ever had because i don't even know if i've ever had a hot graham cracker it was good. I've never had a s'more with completely melted chocolate, and that was the first time. Mm. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, we toasted our, our Pop-Tarts on a wood yeah. stove in Idaho, didn't we? Yeah. We just yeah. placed them right on top of that bad boy. It, it was <laughs> dirty, too. It was really dirty. It was yeah, I remember disgusting. you could see the squares yeah. where the dust wasn't because it had stuck yeah. to the bottom of our Pop-Tarts. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. Just dead cockroaches everywhere. <laughs> I like that little cabin, though, because that little cabin cat that would come out there and just be like, <laughs> A little weirdo. Yeah. And that guy was like, don't, don't yeah. put that fucking cat inside of our yeah. cabin. Yeah. Don't let that cat inside. Don't <laughs> think I'm fucking my sister. <laughs> oh, neither of those two things are going to happen. 
that guy was definitely boning his sister, which is weird. And that cat yeah. definitely wanted to get away from it all. And that and cat definitely came into our cabin multiple yeah. times. <laughs> Fuck you, cool. dude. We're paying. We're yeah. paying for it. What happens inside this cabin is up to us. We gotta do another hike. You let trip. Brian in. Why can't we yeah. let the fucking stray cat in? Hey, Jesus, he's got fleas. You let him in here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was a nice but, little spot. The, the scenery in the morning. That yeah. little mountain little side. Yeah, it's beautiful. The deer. I saw this guy had basically the the nicest place I've ever seen. I always feel like it's kind of a dick move to buy. A mountain peak and then just bulldoze it and put a house on top mm. it's such a dick move but you know the the views are incredible i saw this guy that didn't he, he was like he did something that i consider that's okay you didn't ruin the scenery and you know he has great views there was this valley that it looked like something out of like elden ring or something it was just it was this huge sweeping valley and then in the middle of it was a very small peak and this guy bulldozed the top of that and put his house on it and so he was like a house Ooh. inside of a valley but yeah, from his rather... porch he could see fucking yeah. everything the view of the mountains or do you want the view from the mountains you know it's well cool. actually if you were up on the mountains you kind of could get 360 yeah. degree like looking down on him so i actually it's a cool view but at the same time i'd feel very vulnerable Tactical in that disadvantage house. if another house Pops up oh, if the, he pisses off his neighbors, they have sniper roosts all yeah. around that place where they could rock, set up. Just roll a rock down the hill <laughs> until it gets enough momentum to tear down his home. Where were you? Where was this happening? Blowing Rock, North Carolina. Ah, ah yeah, nice. yeah. I, I, was, uh, I went up there and I, I was, I was like, Grandma, we, we're up at Blowing Rock, and I was telling her about. It's just a she little. She said, "Blowing cock." What? <laughs> what okay, I haven't done that in years. <laughs> uh, no, blowing rock. I was telling her about it. There's like that house there. There's like a a little, you know, like a little gift shop. You go in, and then it's completely caged in. Blowing rock. They have like railings everywhere, so you don't just walk off of it. And it's such a kid friendly place. And I was telling her about it, and she's like, "I remember going up there in 1954." <laughs> and there wasn't any buildings. There wasn't even a fucking parking lot. We actually just parked in the woods and then had to walk up to the top of Blowing Rock. It's like, holy fuck, how old are you, dude? Yeah. She was like, it wasn't, a, it wasn't even a state park yet. <laughs> what? She, she like, I don't know. She might remember the Great Smoky Mountains <laughs> National Park being made. I don't know. She's old as shit. But... um. Pretty cool, pretty cool spot. If you guys, uh, if you live up there, you know, make sure to go to that food line, get that pork jowl. You got Where? the cheapest pork jowl I've ever seen. Why can I not remember the name of the place I was in in North Carolina like eight months ago? Probably because I'm brain dead. But yeah, it was. Wait, you were in North Carolina eight months ago. What the hell? Yeah, it was <laughs> kind of near Asheville. It was. Mm. Called? It was called like Burr Boone Burr Burr de. Boone? What was its name? Was it Boone? What? Boone? No, it wasn't Boone. It was mm. uh, it was beautiful though. Like the the super popular for like mountain biking. I guess I don't really give a shit about that. But uh, it had a ton of fucking trails in this huge national park there, with like the observatory lane or something. It was it was really beautiful. No idea what it was called. Yeah, very very I'm, pretty state. I enjoyed it quite a bit. My uh, my friends live there now that I used to share uh, Mo with, the little <laughs> chihuahua. And they're always trying to get people to move out there and stuff. They live in Charlotte. They love it. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that, yeah. <laughs> Indianapolis. Indianapolis. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Hey, dude, just... the cabin, though, I had was, like, uh, just perfect. It was Actually, it was way better than that Idaho place, for sure. But yeah, had a sunken really in nice. living room. That was, yeah. Oh, oh that's was, sweet. Yeah, it was cool. And they, what, cool. the worst part was it, they had this big sign in the in the entryway that said, "You have to get your own firewood. It's not up to us to cover your firewood expenses." And then next door, Airbnbs always have this where they have like either one room that you can't go into that's yeah. like padlocked, or they have a uh, auxiliary buildings that you're not allowed to go into, like a big shed or something like that. And at the front door, when you're standing at the front door, I could see the sign right here that says, bring your own firewood. And then if I pivot 15 degrees and look to the right, 
there's a huge shed over there with a mountain of firewood. I'm talking like <laughs> like four or five cords worth of firewood, yeah. pre-split, ready to go, dry as shit. I stole firewood the entire fucking trip, dude. I know it's on the same property. You're not going to tell me I can't have that firewood that's right there when it's you're also out. making me strip the beds and fucking scrub the floors with a toothbrush when I'm leaving. Fuck you. I'm stealing three nights worth of firewood. But you guys, it sounds like you had a great time. Yeah, that's I had awesome. a great time stealing firewood and yeah. uh, not showing my kids snow. Innovating the, whole... the, the s'more. Mm -hmm. um, Eating pork jowls. Actually, I'm, I'm going to level with you. It sucked. It wasn't fun at all. The trip? Yeah, the trip was horrible. It what, was just uh, the kids, or yeah, the kids. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna once again. <laughs> I'm gonna lay it down for all the dads out there. I'm gonna level with you. Okay. I'm gonna level with you. Family vacations, not the greatest. They, you don't get anything done. Do you remember going on family vacations as a kid? And it seemed like there was a lot of tension between your parents. Yeah, it's because of you. It was yeah. because of you as a kid. No, I, dude, I was neither seen nor heard. I was a polite child <laughs> that minded child. his own. Okay. Dude, we, we would get up early in the morning, fix them all fucking breakfast. And then we're like, let's go check out this little park. There's nothing to do at the park. It's just like uh, something that they can just go run around. We get out there, drive for like 10, 15 minutes. We get out there immediately. And we told them, use the bathroom before you go. Got to use the bathroom. Oh, classic parents. Classic. We probably get like a quarter mile from the car. Uh, I got to piss real <laughs> bad. Fuck. And so then we turn around. We, The fucking bathroom hadn't been opened yet by the park personnel or whatever. So then we got back in the car. We drove around the mountains trying to find just somewhere for her to piss. And then uh, once we ended up finding that, it was too late to go back to the park because it's lunchtime. They're like, I'm hungry. So then we go to a restaurant and then they're like, I'm just and then we go back to the cabin. God. We really got nothing done. It was honestly stealing the firewood and eating the pork jowl was the highlight of the trip. Yeah, it's, that was that was oh, it. That was that it. That's as far as it went. We went up there to go see snow. Didn't even see snow. I already told you this. I feel like I have yeah. to tell the audience the horrific what? snow display that they they oh, got to yeah. see. We went to. Uh, it did finally get cold enough for them to manufacture snow. So we went to. Um, God, I wish I could remember the name of the the ski the ski resort so I could shit on it, but it's the closest one to blowing rock. So if you look that so up, so go I, leave bad reviews yeah. on whatever you know. Fifty uh, mile radius. It has radius. great reviews, by the way. Yeah. That's the worst part is how well renowned this little ski place is. This place fucking sucks. I went there, and it, from the outside you can see that they're just spraying mist up into the air, and it's coming down as in beautiful powdery snow, and. uh and the kids can see it, and we're like, sweet, we finally found snow that they can play with because they've never seen it before. And uh, there was lines everywhere. It was like Disney World. There were so many lines. And so first we were like, okay, we don't want to get skis and stuff because that's like an actual, that's a slope. Yeah. Then they had like a tubing area, and we are like, maybe we can go over there Sounds and get- like Perfect North or something. We got Ooh. some shit like this. Really? Yeah. They, they had like a tubing section, and we're like, there's kind of like a flat area at the end and then the and then it goes off to the right where there's just like heaps of snow. I was like, maybe we can just like get some tickets and play there. They're like, no, nah, if you're buying tickets, you gotta use it for skiing or you gotta use it for the the tubing, which means you also have to like you get like the ticket and then you also have to rent the equipment. And I was like, no, we don't want to do any of that. I just they just wanna go like boop, 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 in the snow and maybe make like the worst snowman you've ever seen. That's all they yeah. want. Fifteen minutes they'll be cold and wanna leave. And uh, slip the worker a hundred, and they were up. they were like fuck you, like you, yeah. if, unless you're buying all the gear, get the hell out of my way, <laughs> and uh, and so we ended up finding an ice skating rink at the same place where this wasn't even a full size Zamboni. This was like this guy was just riding around a golf cart with like a little wet mop on the back, and he that was his Zamboni, and uh, and he was he was Zamboning, and then he would scrape the walkway with like a big snow shovel. And those ice shavings from him scraping that, he would pile them up into a big, basically snow cone. And uh, and I told my kids to go play in that. And they they had fun in their little snow cone that he had made over there. And um, 
they thought it was snow, and that's all that matters. The things parents do, yeah, yeah. for their children. They made a fucking snowman about that tall. <laughs> it was about four or five inches tall, and uh, and that's they were adorable. stoked about it. And then they started fucking bitching and moaning about something else. I got to poop, and I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I was like, I was... okay, all right, let's go. Yeah. It was yes. like bringing Brian on the hike. It was... <laughs> It was like bringing two Brian's. Remember when we brought Brian and he was little, just so little pissy? Brian. Yeah, it was two Brian's on this trip. Mm. I uh. yeah, that sounds awful, but yeah. uh, it's just part of it, I guess, huh? You're the yeah. one who decided to knock her up twice. Yeah, I know so what the hell. You got to bear the consequence. I uh, I'm a man that already has to piss all the time. I don't have to piss currently. That's not where this is going, but. I yeah, know, but you can I, on I, your I, own on your own two legs. You could walk out into the woods and just f- yeah do no, your true. duty. But yeah. when we used to drive to Florida, my I, I you know I'd be like after an hour like I've got to pee, mom, and they'd just be like no, like we haven't gone far <laughs> enough. Probably why I have to pee so much now. Yeah. Probably like damage done to me, <laughs> and it was only made worse by the fact that I would always bring my best friend, and he is like a camel when it comes to piss. He just wouldn't piss, you know, and everyone's like, okay, Sam, like, try three times before we go. I'm like, I I pee, like, I pee. He'd be like, no, I don't need to pee. And then he wouldn't pee or get out of the car for, like, 13 hours. And I'd piss at every single stop. And they'd be like, why can't you be more like him? I'm like, (laughs) it's not like a thing I can change, really. And he still is the kind of guy, like, he'll come over every once in a while and he'll just go into the bedroom and be like, like spare bedroom and be like, all right, good night. I'm like, not gonna go piss. Nah. <laughs> it freaks me out, people like that. Like they don't yeah. have, before going to bed, he'll just like lay down somewhere and just go to bed. I'm like, don't even have to try. <laughs> like, you're not gonna wake up in the That's middle of the night having to piss. That makes so me want to drink water just what to make more just piss? thinking about just thinking about it. No, because that means he has to be making some serious kidney stones or something over there. There's I don't no know way what he's doing. does he not drink enough water? What's going on? I don't know. I don't know. Have you oh, analyzed he... his piss when he does piss? What does it look like? You got to look at his piss. Orange. Orange. <laughs> it's just brown, brown yeah. piss. It's dust. <laughs> <laughs> it sputters out. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, people that don't piss a lot, they do concern me a little bit. Yeah, it's actually, it's kind of in to piss a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of cool. But at the same time, I do sympathize with your parents because I, doing that yeah. nine hour drive, God. We left a fucking Chick Fil A, and we're like, "Can you piss here, please?" They're like, "No, we don't have to piss." Forty minutes on the road. Oh, I gotta piss now. We stopped at this gas station that I was scared to get out of the car, and I was, I was like, "Abby, I'm not bringing a two year old into the men's bathroom at this gas station." This guy, like the men's bathroom at a gas station like that, just I'm sure is covered in diarrhea. You have to get a key to go outside. Uh. She got a key to bring yeah. her into the girls' bathroom. She said the girls' bathroom was not much better. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, why are they so inconsiderate? And then they touch the toilet. Like, kids, they, Ugh, they, they, they don't, yeah, that's they, the word. they sit down and then they plant their hands on the fucking, on the, uh, the rim, like they're goddamn, I think you like, you just have two degenerate little disgusting <laughs> children. Cause I don't know. I'm like, can't you just sit that. with your fucking hands yeah. like this on the toilet? Yeah. Can't you just cross your arms or something? My parents poop like this, like you don't called, have to brace for impact and touch uh, them. My parents use these things called kid cuffs, where they handcuff me up high and then they hold me and dangle me and just go shit, <laughs> shit, and they shake my arms. Like, ah! <laughs> but I couldn't touch anything. Yeah, and if yeah I was it's really like bad, medieval they, dungeon cuffs. That's awesome. I need the, to get some of those. <laughs> the kid tie, where they get my ankles <laughs> to the back, also. <laughs> They get me in a full hog tie, and then they dang, they hold me over the toilet till I pissed in the bowl. <laughs> Honestly, not a bad move. <laughs> it would be a kind of a good invention. Yeah. Just like a handle that you could have and have your kid like, ah! <laughs> I've thought about that a lot, and I've brought this up before, but some sort of cross that you could put like your pets on for traveling (laughs) have you seen that have you seen that fucking kid keeping them master keeping them from masturbating yeah one of those but imagine a cat on it and you can just hold it and go here you go like i got him on my airplane here's this cat on the cross Uh, it's just like (laughs) anti-master i forgot about that anti-masturbation kid on it (laughs) (laughs) Ah, i've got to jerk off (laughs) I forget where the hell I was flying, but there was 
There was just a lady next to me with a full ass dog. Like no, a, I don't get. I don't get how that works. Can you just like? Can I just yeah. bring Pip on? She a just plane? had a husky on the plane, and oh, it was well, it was just like dog. it was just staring at me the entire trip. Like, what the fuck is going on? Also, just, how do you like? How do you take your dog that first time to find out if it's gonna freak out or not? Because that'd be uh, like yeah. you don't. How do you know if it's a dog that's cool with planes? Yeah. My dog's never even seen an airplane. <laughs> if I just brought him on one and he was just sort of going like crazy, what am I going to do? You know, it's like worse than a crying baby. You I know, know, I, but I've yeah, also I don't heard know. if like, you put them in the storage underneath, there's like a good chance they just die. What? Really? There's like a lot of pets that die every year in those like movement little crate things down. Oh, fuck that. Yeah, I would bring him up with me. I think it's something like 99%. <laughs> yeah. Well, let, let, let me look it up. It is like a shock. I would want a, I I would want a fucking autopsy. If if the airline killed my dog, I would want an autopsy. I'd be like, what 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 killed this thing? Was it exposure? Lack of oxygen? The compartment not seal all the way or oh, wait, something? Maybe I'm... <laughs> maybe I'm a liar? I don't know. Well, I don't know how many dogs fly... <laughs> Well, okay. none last time I checked, but no, I don't know how many. It says that more than 200 pets have died on flights over the last decade, but that's like a pretty long. Mm, that's time, a long span. Like, it's not many, a lot of dogs. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. not. I, I could have 200 sworn due I, to air travel. What about car travel? I could have sworn I saw something like we're in like a year, like 200 dogs died. Maybe I'm just fucking... Whatever, guys, just believe me. Like, your dog's yeah. going to die if you check it in down there. <laughs> They've got, like, they just put all the pets loose in one area, and they all fight each other till one gets out. Whoa. But. I don't, I, yeah. I, I think I, my dog I, would I, lose. I don't think I, I would do that. I hate long car rides now. Like, I'm just fucking burnt out. Like, I just. Yeah. It's a privilege, but I'd just rather fucking fly and spend, like, you know. I'd rather fly to a shitty Airbnb then drive to something luxurious, you know, like I'll spend my fucking money on getting a goddamn Allegiant flight or something. But I've been wondering, like, if I move far away at one point, like, is Pip just going to, like, freak the fuck out on that? Or is everyone going to be, everyone sees him, they're like, oh, Corgi, like, I so cute. They probably, you know. No, if, when you go to move, you'll do the drive because you got to bring your car. You got to bring a I'll lot leave of it all. <laughs> you just leave everything. I get dish it out to my friends. So I want all the shit to start again. The, the first, the first initial move, and then yeah. you fly from there. But yeah, yeah, I don't think I'd ever fly with my dog. I think yeah. it'd be funny to see him in a plane. Now that I, I would even, like to see. And I don't also, even do you know if have... I could fly with my kids? Like, what? What's the age limit where you can fly with them? What do you mean? You think? Like, you know, like, limit. <laughs> when like, they're past four, they're not allowed on an airplane. What do you say? <laughs> no, like, what what age do you think it's okay to fly with a kid? What age I've seen of a, a kid? A lot of babies on planes. No, you see them, but and you go, I hear them too. Yeah. What I, age I, of a kid walking into a plane do you go? Oh, it's just a kid going on a flight. Six. And you, six. Okay. Uh, five or six. I did a flight when I was like six or seven with just me and my older brother. Like cross country, mm -hmm. and it was pretty baller because <laughs> the the there was I've definitely talked about this before, but it was some like program or something where the flight attendants are like aware that you're just children. Yeah, because my brother was probably like twelve <laughs> or thirteen, and they just kind of like take care of you. And uh, wait, you were they, just by yourself, no parent, no parents. Yeah, what my mom hell? was in San Francisco, and her friend. That was like, I guess, trying to court her or something. I don't know. A lot of rich guys have tried to bang my mom. And he was like, I'll fly your kids out of here. I'll be one and, of them. Yeah. You got to add to the list. <laughs> Make uh, that yeah. four. Uh, <laughs> but he just like flew us out. And it was really weird. But also, I didn't, you know, I didn't mind. I thought it was cool. And it was weird, too, because I had been on a couple flights when I was a kid. Like, I remember after Katrina, I went down to visit my aunt, and we flew. And then, like, that, I flew. And then I didn't fly for, like, 10 years. Mm -hmm. And then when I went to my internship, I remember that was the first time I had flown in, like, a long time. And I was fucking petrified <laughs> like on the plane like that first time they go up and you know sometimes they're like okay we gotta re like they turn it yeah i hadn't been on a plane so long i was like 
<laughs> what is happening? Like I could see the ground out my window. Yeah. You know, and it's like that. And I was just like, like no. I was just staring at flight attendants. Like, are they freaking out? That's what I did for like a year straight. I just always look at the flight attendants anytime anything happened to be like, they would know if this is yeah. like casual or not. I don't think they'd telegraph it. They wouldn't be like, oh fuck. But they'd be like, I, I've seen I've seen a yeah, I've seen a stewardess kind not like bolting, but I've seen her ramming her little drink cart down the aisle at an at, a, at an alarming rate. Where I'm like, damn dude, you better hope an elbow's not sticking out in that aisle. Yeah. Oh, and then uh, and then wheeled it away and then sat down in her little jumper seat real quick and yeah and buckled up. Dude, yeah. oh, have you ever been on the seat where you're sitting there and a stewardess is right in front of you facing you? No, I no. And dude, you probably I, have to pay extra for that too. No, <laughs> no I dude, I picked like an emergency seat, but I didn't realize like I was like, "Oh, look at all this footroom." I was in the emergency seat window. But it was like a long enough plane that right in front of me, there was a little like fold out chair where the stewardess had to sit. Yes. And it was so awkward because she was like around my age. Yeah. And I was just like a foot away and we were just like facing you didn't, each you didn't other. talk to her? <laughs> I, I saw mean, an I old guy macking some, on a girl yeah, in that, I know, in that I'm scenario. Pretty, I did some small talk, you know, I'm like, hey, I was... What's your tits like or something? <laughs> but no, I just sat there and like. Eh. Also, when that position puts me in, I'm so insecure that it's like now I'm not gonna pull out my switch or you know my Steam Deck or anything. Like now I'm just I'm not even gonna pull out probably my iPad and watch like my my cartoons. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit there on my phone and be like, well, this is probably the most casual. Yeah, I've, I've never times. pulled out my Steam Deck. On it's a plane. too embarrassing for me. I don't know it's why. It's too shameful to be like. I have it, and I have games loaded up on it. I'll use it in the car. I'll use it in my own room, not on a plane. Even iPad with like a, a show or whatever. I'm all, I, I, I feel like it's a test in like high school or something. I like put my arm like I don't Dude, want other people to see it. I've watched a couple too where it's like a rated R or something. And like yeah. as soon as it's anything risque, I'm like. Am I gonna get in trouble if there's yeah. like kits on this screen right now? Are people gonna think I'm a pervert? Yeah, I don't know. It's well, that's why actually I've what started... I should do is I should I should watch more and more risque shows and then see what the point is where they. Sir, where... you cannot watch the smut on this plane. <laughs> yeah, like at what level of porno can you watch before they tell you to turn it Full off? Frontal. I could probably watch Game Full of Thrones. I could probably yeah, watch. Can I watch be like, Shameless? Oh, that's Game of Thrones or something? Could I watch? Yeah. Okay. Could I watch some HBO late night shows? They, Porn. <laughs> yeah, they Can I just, watch Skinamax. No. Yeah, they used to have like some. It was called like Sex Talk or something, where they would go up to people on the side of the the road in, in New York City, and they would go like, "Tell us about your sex life." Well, it fucking sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. And, and I think there was nudity on that show too. That was that was one of those that like if I stayed awesome. up real late I could turn on HBO and catch some glimpses, might see some boobs. You, you, you want to bring a box it? set of that? Download the, the same shows and movies on both your iPhone and your iPad before going on the plane, and then play it by ear once you sit down. <laughs> Scope out the people around you, how old they are, with the you know demographics. Uh -huh. Then you can choose to more subtly pull out your phone and be like, or you can put down the iPad. That sounds like something you've actually done. I do that every time now. Really? I do that. I scope it out. I play it because, yeah, because I don't know. I You know what I'm embarrassed about is I'll pull out my iPad to to draw and procreate. I can't draw in and, front of people. Yeah. yeah. If no, I pull out that no thing way. to do like open up procreate, I realize I get really self-conscious cuz I'll draw a line 48 times and <laughs> er erase it. Yeah. Stupid, stupid, stupid. And the end result still looks like a stick figure. Like it's not yeah. good. But I, when I people really see you with the little pin and you're on procreate, they're like, "Oh, this guy's good." Yeah. And I know, I, yeah. Oh, it's you're watching a beginner, okay? Let me draw. All Trust I draw are like little creatures and stuff, and I feel like, yeah, drawing that in public. Because also, if you're drawing something, people are gonna look. You know, people yeah. are, eyes are gonna be a little. Well, that's good. They got their their jobs where all the creativity has been smashed and mushed out of them. So they they see you as a glimmer, 
of hope of, of, you know, something that they used to have. And so they're hoping you're good at it. It turns out you're just as good as they are. And it's, it's disappointing. You're, they're disappointed and you can feel it as a person drawing. You can feel their disappointment. I disappointed a lady, even though like I'm, you know, I don't really know if I disappointed her. I know I did because I tried. It was like one of the first times I had my iPad and procreate yeah. and I busted out. I did the same thing. You know, I was just like, eh. and there's just an old lady next to me. I'm like, she's not going to give a shit. You know, she probably won't even notice. And I try, I, you know, I drew like four stick figures and some little things. And then I was like, okay, enough of that. And I put away like 30 minutes later, she just pulls out like a full notebook sketchbook and a pencil. <laughs> and then like the rest of the flight, she just draws like a magnificent fucking drawing. And I was just like, oh, stupid. <laughs> And she didn't even talk to me. Yeah. She wasn't even like, oh, you're drawing or anything? No. She just like was like, here you go, you little fucking idiot. Like, you say, uh, uh, uh. And just like completely humiliated me. I mean, she probably was just like, didn't even notice I was drawing. And then at one point, I was like, okay, my time to draw. But that bitch got in my head. Yeah. <laughs> she, she was like, she was like radicalizing me. I was like, okay, I got this plane's going to crash. I got to get this. It was awful. It was fine. I, I had this friend saying. growing up that was the, the same. Where <laughs> the his worst, okay. His mom would lay out everything for us to draw on the kitchen table, <sighs> and she'd be like, "Go on, draw and stuff." And and I remember going over there and drawing. And then one time I went down into the basement, and I, she was working, and I went into her office, and I thought working like on a computer or something. She was standing at an easel, and she had like uh. she had this like big magnifying glass, and she had a holder that would hold her pencil so that she didn't smudge with her hand. And she would sit there and like draw f like hairs, and she would have hyper realistic art. But then That's also sweet. she wasn't it wasn't just like one thing she was good at. She was doing hyper realistic, but she also did. Um, FSU had uh, it was like some sort of Florida like mural thing where it incorporated a bunch of like um, indigenous uh, f like plants and animals oh. and stuff that oh, were all I you were into one indigenous people no no no, no. <laughs> oh just uh, like fauna and flora. yeah just like alligators and shit and it like made like one big mural and she also did that and then she did some like pop art stuff so she was like just really good yeah. on all fronts and when she came over there she, when i would go back over there I'd, she'd be like you want to draw i'd be like i'm good <laughs> i'm good because you know she would look you at it and be that, like wouldn't you dog shit <laughs> Derivative. She'd like chuck it on the ground when after I don't we think leave. That's how art. I think artists are probably probably not as insane as we're making them to seem. Yeah. You know, they no, probably I'm just sure want you that to be the old next lady, generation. Exactly. That old lady was probably yeah. like, "You're getting there, sonny." Yeah. Well, she could have said that with her yeah. words and not, you know, try to one up me. Now, well, what's the third guy in the row going <laughs> to think? Well, yeah. you know, I bet you. I think there was plenty of years where these people were probably like that they they yeah. sit there and they talk down to the other artists that are trying to learn and then those people and got one discouraged of those became M mr mid journey developed yeah. mr yeah. developed ai <laughs> art picasso but yeah and turn turn their entire industry to ashes mr journey yep dude it's gotten pretty bad I just anytime someone posts art now people are just feeling like is it is it not <laughs> like it's a hard it's getting a Hard to tell. Have I've you seen the new Mid Journey, the latest version? It's no. incredible. I mean, like you can just type in like anything. I just saw one any on person Facebook. doing something, and it'll it'll look photorealistic. I saw on Facebook. I'm part of this like art group from like a long ass time ago, and some guy posts a picture that is like the most AI looking real picture I've ever seen, and all the comments are just like. Someone's like, how did he do that? Like, it's beautiful. And everyone's like, it's AI, it's AI. Like, 50 comments saying that, like, shitting on him. And I was like, well, I saw him like, oh, yeah, it's definitely AI. And then he posts a time lapse of him making it. And everyone's like, oh, shit. Okay, why, I've seen you, like, people... why are you drawing in this style? <laughs> like, what? you've made this look. I've seen people AI. talk about that, where they say, I have to film stuff yeah. in time lapse now to, or give, like, like receipts. Like, they have yeah. to show the in process. Or else people yeah. believe that it's, it's Procreate been... just saves a time lapse. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I don't think anybody's going to be that, accusing though. us of <laughs> AI generation. Here's, uh, the, here's the four second time lapse of me yeah, making I... stick figures. 
You said, okay, and then he drew the tits on it, and then the penis on it. Okay, and stick figure stuff. Yeah. yeah. Oh, know. wait, little update, since we're talking about yeah. art. Um, the uh, the cups are in the candling phase right now, where I'm oh. I'm putting the cups into the, the kiln and just getting all the moisture out of them, and I'll do an initial the fire. Giveaway? Yeah. This, Have this you week. found the people or no? No, not yet. How are you going to pick it? Um, I'm going to figure that out. And then I'm going to record that process so people don't think it's some hokey bullshit. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm going to, I'm going to enter. Yeah. I'm technically a patron, so I can, uh, <laughs> so I can enter it. Dude. You know I, what? I, Patreon has possibly one of the worst setups out there. Why did we base the entire show on Patreon? Because, yeah, there's no management <sighs> role or anything I can give you guys. Yeah. Yeah, you guys just have to buy your way in in order to uh, be a part of it. To, to check the common shit in on us. <laughs> <laughs> you pay for that privilege. You pay for that privilege to be able to see I'm him. one of you. I, owe, I own part of me and you. Uh, did the, like, entering the drop. I can't remember if I've talked about this before. Who fucking cares? But, uh, and I can't go into too much detail about doxing, but there was a really funny event where a uh, famous musician signed a guitar and was doing a giveaway uh, in my town to raise money. And mm. my my like friend's dad is was in that band. And then his uncle won the fucking giveaway. He bought like the most amount of tickets for it. And like the one guy that has like access to like he could probably just get that on his yeah. own. You know, he could just ask for a favor. He won it, and the whole town was, like, fucking pissed off at him <laughs> because he, he bought, like, an insane amount of drawings. Everyone's like, what, dude? Like, this is, like, cool for us, not for you. It raised and, the uh, money. I guess it raised yeah. the money. What's it about? It's about the surgery. charity. Yeah. Yeah. Also, did you ever have any, like, any big, like, town rallying, like, kid is going to die or... Like a, a dog's trapped in a well or anything that ever. There was, ever, like, a, a I think there was a kid. Well, it's hard to talk about that without like, I don't know if it's on the news or anything. Like, what there's a, there was a kid that died uh, oh. and his name was Dale. And then they had like a big uh, buckle up for Dale. Like that was their, it was when seatbelts were, people were like, I'm no pussy, I ain't putting on a seatbelt. And then, um, you know, it was this young kid where his life was ended, like, right out of high school. And it, I think he was going to, like, St. George Island or something like that for, for uh, spring break. And he died on the way. And so they were like, buckle up for Dale, you know. Like, it, yeah. that could have been you. And uh, Praise I, Dale, praise Dale. <laughs> yeah, I, I still think of buckle up for Dale, dude. Are you, Dale <laughs> Earnhardt went to your school? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. He died in a car crash. Uh <laughs> That's inappropriate. Um, I had a, one of my like really good friends in high school. I can't like go into it, you know, but he basically due to the negligence of a teacher, uh, almost died and doctors were saying like, we were visiting him in Riley, like all the time. Mm -hmm. And doctors like, he's not going to make it. And I saw him at one point, just like, <laughs> like, oh, he's like, all his body functions were failing. He was yellow. Yeah. And he was like, Wayne's World, <laughs> Wayne's World. <laughs> oh, I love that. Uh, and our town like rallied me. I made all these T-shirts and stuff with his name on it and strong and stuff. And I remember it was like the one, only time I've ever like prayed. I was like, please God, like don't let this, don't let my friend die. And now I guess I owe God one because he didn't yeah. die. Uh, but it's probably then, the I, first like unselfish prayer you've ever done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get a billion dollars and <laughs> yeah, all the also, other ones if you, are. If you got room, save my friend. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, and then like after it was after it all happened, I think he was like really. I don't know. I think it really fucked him up. Like having because he was a, kind of a shy guy, and then having that much of like the town's rallying around him. Are you disconnected again? Is your yeah? I, I think I am. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's cutting out. I think it might be gone. Am I back? You're blinking a lot. I think I'm back. Oh god, my internet's cutting out. <laughs> oh my god, it's cutting out. He's doing the robot. I didn't want to the kids like died or something. 
Oh, are you back? <laughs> yeah, I'm back a little bit. I would anyway. assume I would assume if you're on your deathbed and you find out the whole tally, uh, town like rallied around you and then you come out and it fucked you up, I would feel from the town's perspective like this guy's a little shit. No, well, he wasn't like he wasn't going around like don't. He just was I think it was really awkward cuz you're already going through like in high school. He was like an awkward, you know, guy and then now it's like everyone fucking knows about him everyone's been thinking he's gonna die yeah and then he didn't and then it also like left him um he basically just like wasn't the same after it like it still had some repercussions yeah and it was weird though because then he like he couldn't go to school the next year and i was like you know i was at the hospital all the fucking time like there's like four of us that were there all the time and then after he got better I've like never talked to him again. I've seen him like uh, one time since, and I used uh, my one good prayer for him. Yeah, and he's, you know, has. Does he even still live in town? Yeah, he still he still lives there. I saw him like once, a, like a couple of years later, and it was super awkward. Huh. I think he's like ashamed about it happening. Or well, so. yeah, because the whole town rallied to pull yeah. through. They're like, this guy could be a surgeon or whatever. We need to save him. And then they save him and he turns out to just be like an awkward kid that's probably going to work at like the grocery store for the rest of his life. <laughs> I don't think the whole town was like, we got to save this kid so he can be president. I yeah, think they're just can... like, we don't want a kid to die. Dude, he's letting the town down and he feels this bad. This guy could be the new emperor of the world. <laughs> he could be somebody. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't think being a grocer is being nobody, you know. Everyone's no, they're there. very, they're he very also important. But has like, I wouldn't rally can, the town to save a grocer. <laughs> that was my point. <laughs> uh, the guy from the I would rally died. like one or two people to yeah. save a grocer. But the whole time making shirts, he yeah. better my, be you know something big. All right? <laughs> my dad still wears the shirt from like fifty really? years ago <laughs> that has his name and strong on it and he's like but it fits <laughs> Dude, I mean, yeah. that kid lived right I would I would buy that shirt off your dad just to have <laughs> the save this kid shirt from a town Do all the not way up let there. this kid die yeah. I should put it in my merch store. <laughs> he said. Yeah. That's awesome. It, it was yeah it was really it was it was crazy though. Like it was uh it was a very interesting time in our in our child lives yeah. seeing shit like that and then also i can't really it was dude it was like an adult's fault it was like our coach's fault that it happened to and mm. then the guy left and got a better job offer he didn't even get fired uh, <laughs> he just <classic>. was like <laughs> yeah and then he got I, hired at a better school making I've more actually, money actually we've talked about this before because i yeah. talked about my english teacher from seventh grade who oh, were working sure. as a Working as an English teacher in middle school, not a great job. Molests a student, gets yeah, I was fired. Say, dude, I was moves just up to a with. college. <laughs> he's like yeah. he was working at like a college as a oh, teacher. These kids are too old. Yeah, <laughs> they're like, it's oh, you gotta punishment. touch the students. Yeah. We're gonna move you up to a place you to where work I guess you can do that. School. No, yeah. no, 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 put me back. <laughs> <laughs> you got him on the anti-molesting yeah. cross at the he's so pissed college. off he has to teach a, a class full of 18 year old yeah. women english Ugh. bunch of horse. grannies yeah, yeah. <laughs> old women uh, uh, yeah well it's i'm sure we've had this like exact conversation on the podcast and then it led to that and then yeah led to this and there and that our minds are so one they're just like four tracks yeah basically yeah. You know whose mind is also like that is Aqua's. Aqua. Yeah, probably. He, he was, He's he was old. doing he was doing this like shaggy dog story and then just in the middle of it got like disheartened and then just we started playing Tarkov and I'm like, "Dude, you made both of our chats listen for probably 5 or 6 minutes on the beginning setup of a joke you didn't even deliver a punchline on. <laughs> you just like one boy is like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> it was like the rate timer started going down. And he's like, all right, let's get into formation, boys. I was like, what? And then two hours later, he just picks up where he left off and keeps going. I'm like, are you just picking up in the middle of this? I'm, I swear to God, I have the recording where he's just like, and then the ranger looks over at the other, and I'm like, are you just picking up on this shit from like an hour and a half ago? 
Oh. And uh, it was possibly the worst story I've ever heard, but, you know, it's Aqua. You can't well, be like, too I don't know, mad about it. <laughs> the one you just told is probably up there. Oh, <laughs> boing. Uh, but, <laughs> Dude, my, uh, <laughs> my my roommate and my like one of my really good friends, they do that shit forever where they'll just pick up like they're thinking in their head or some shit, a conversation, mm-hmm. and then they'll cue me in, not caught up with their own head. Yes. And they'll be like, yeah, yeah, she doesn't even know what she's fucking talking about. I'm like, who? Like, I need context. Like, I'm yeah. just like, I'm not, you know, I can't read your fucking mind. And they're so bad at it. Like, my. You know, I've honestly also this that same mm-hmm. premise grimace f- gr- <laughs> no it <laughs> follows over to to making videos too uh-huh. that I think that's like one of the hardest concepts to figure out is like the audience doesn't exactly know what the fuck you're talking about yeah. you need to catch them up in like the first 10 seconds yeah but there's a lot of yeah. people saying on my uh cyberpunk video that's with this stunt powder video yeah uh, one of the top comments was like to understand this video, because they don't explain it in the video, you either have to have listened to the podcast that came out like an hour ago, or you have to be like one of Poob's IRL friends that was there that night. Like, who is you this made for? Some, yeah, you had to do some studying. <laughs> yeah. The first YouTube video where you have to go do Same some for studying babies, first. Okay, <laughs> this is like, this is level 200 fucking <laughs> YouTube. No context given. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'm probably bad at that too. Everyone's a little. Yeah, I'm not really. I'm, I'm, dude. I am so brain dead this week from Tarkov. <laughs> like I said, I've been playing like 12 hours a day. I've been staying up till six, seven a.m. I don't feel like I'm a person because I haven't seen the sun. And now we're podcasting on the one day I did have to wake up early. I haven't been outside while the sun's out in like a week, and I've left the house once in like two weeks. I'm going fucking crazy, and I'm I'm having fun on Tarkov for the first time in like three years, which I enjoy. I'm yeah, really for, liking for the it. audience, I just want to say I am too. I'm, it's fun. I'm back. I, uh, I, I took you take my a break. couple of wipes off, yeah. and then you come back, and it's great. It doesn't yeah. feel like I'm have a pressure to play it, even though I'm getting there because like. It is crazy when I play it. I just get way more viewers. Yeah. But as soon as it becomes, like, not fun, I'm fucking out. Yeah. I'm just, like, kind of addicted right now. I've dreamt about it twice. You know, the and not fun aspect is once you get to, like, level 20. Yeah. 20 I just plus. just hit level 15, so I'm like. Yeah. Oh. oh, you yeah, you got the fresh flea market. Oh, you're feeling good. Yeah. I... But I've also really enjoyed that... Uh, I'm also kind of scared, but I was thinking initially that Arena came out yeah. and all the Tarkov people were like, oh, let's go play Arena because Tarkov's kind of dead right now. There's no wipe and everything. And they were playing that. They were getting so amped up playing that. Practicing the one thing that you don't get to do a lot in Tarkov, yeah. which is fighting. And I was afraid that this wipe was going to be the sweatiest wipe of all time because it, it wiped. Everybody goes from Arena where they've been honing their skills and then they go into Tarkov, and I thought I'd be getting my ass destroyed. Mm-hmm. But uh hasn't been as bad as I thought it was going to be. I, I I was thinking there was going to be a lot of people doing the fucking leaning peaks. And, yeah. you know. I've gotten killed a couple times from, like, you know, I can't even be mad because what am I to do? Like, what? Yeah. That guy's not human. How am I going to beat that guy? I, I played with Lettuce, and I was like, I hope I never come across him in a raid because yeah. it's just different. He's like a, it's like a bloodhound. He just fucking hears someone do something. There's a guy eating croutons upstairs. We got to go. And he fucking pulls the stairs with his gun in the other shoulder. They added like the shoulder mm-hmm. transition. You can fucking hold it on the other yeah. arm. And he, just doing shit that I'm never going to bother to do. I, I don't I, think moving a gun over to the other shoulder is going to win me a fight uh, with yeah, my skills. I, I don't even have a bound to a key. I don't even know. I don't even <laughs> I've know how to do it. I've seen people do it. I've never done it myself. I'm pretty embarrassed because like two of my IRL friends have been playing this wipe. I didn't even know they played the game. Apparently, they've played a couple wipes. But they're just like, you know, I've got like 1,200 hours on it. And I was watching them. And I'm like learning tactics. I'm like, why, do I, why have I not thought of doing they're just so much better than me already. Yeah. And I was thinking about, I'm like, it's really remarkable that I have this much, I mean, half of it's probably loading times at least, but like 
this much time in the game, I don't know. Like, I don't have any memory of like what anything's worth, what ammo's good. I'm constantly asking my chat, like, is it good? Like, sell, yeah. keep, or is this ammo good? Like, I don't know anything. And I've played it so much. And I'm not even good at fighting, really. So it's like, yeah. what have I learned? I do have, I've learned one really good technique, which is where before I go into a place that might have campers in it, I do a bunch of different voices. So they think that there's a bunch of guys coming. Classic, classic, yeah. And uh, that's never worked once. But also, I've been camping some this wipe and losing the fights when I'm camping the guy. I've noticed that, yeah, like uh, so Devin on his time off stream, he plays normally. Yeah. You know, he doesn't exfil camp while he's off stream. That's just so, a mask he wears. Yeah. So he's just good at the game. He's good at and and I feel like he doesn't get the uh the buck fever that I get. Sometimes <laughs> I, I will I will be watching someone and I'll have the gun to the back of their head and I'll just be like like what if I fuck up? Like what if the gun jams? You know? Like what if I've lost fights where I basically have the person dead to rights because I just don't have those foundations built, you know? Confidence. And, yeah. Yeah. It's 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 motherfucker. <laughs> and not not only that, but the you know, we were talking about this earlier, but I don't stream it a whole lot, mm -hmm. and I spend half my time editing. I did that 12-hour stream, and then I've just had to relive over, like, basically everything that happened. I had yep. to edit all 12 hours of that, and the whole time I'm sitting there living in the past, everybody's still streaming it, playing it, being good, getting better. Getting up, yeah. yeah. And I I'm do, just watching I'm myself fail over and over again. Worse or something. <laughs> Because the first day or d two days, I won a couple, like, 1v2s, which mm -hmm. I don't ever do. I won a 1v3. There's a clip of it. It's real. And, I, you know, of course, don't extract on any of those. But I was, like, starting to really get some confidence. Like, I might actually be good at this game now. Yeah. And then it's crazy that it's completely dependent on how you did the last, like, raid is how if I like the game or not. Yeah. Just then yesterday, I was like, oh, yeah. You know, I kind of got it. I kind of got this. I mean, just like si like maybe like six or seven raids in a row where I'm just embarrassing myself in front of people, just getting absolutely shit on. And it's like, all of a sudden, this game fucking sucks, and I don't want to play it. I do Me? one raid with my friend on Woods. Don't fight a single guy, but got a lot of loot. And I'm like, eh, it's kind of fun. <laughs> it's it's kind of a good fun. game. Like, yeah. I don't know. I like it. Uh, me and Aqua wanted to go see the new Shoreline editions. Oh. We loaded in for like six minutes, walked f for 40 seconds, and got killed. So we had 40 seconds of gameplay, six minutes of loading. And that is brutal. The loading I, is fucking insane still. I felt like fucking crying. I, that was on stream. I actually, I was laughing at the time, but there was tears. <laughs> there was tears behind that laughter. It's like, this fucking sucks. And I think it actually just turned Aqua off of the entire thing because... I literally think we did that raid, and then he was just like, all right, I'm going to go play with, like, Wellen or something. He left me. He was like, that had to be you. Like, yeah, you wanted to blame it on somebody. Better. Yeah, I'm done playing with you, dude. 40-second <laughs> yeah, raid, not on my watch. I'm getting out they, of here. They all need each other. I, I played with Zichum, and we were doing that camping spot that, like, Aqua uses. And at one point, there was a scav. Like, I, I don't know. It looked like he was looking at me, but he was, like, 100 yards away. Yeah. And I shot at him, and Zichum's like, no, you, like, you ruined it all. And then for like 20 minutes, he's like, okay, like, we just got a little excited there. But, you know, we, you know, next time we just need to wait. I'm like, just say it was me. Okay. I like, I know I fucked up, but like, I'm sorry, wait, dude. Like, I, I, I love get nervous. His camping spot is just the giant hunting towers, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, just, <laughs> it's, it's the things that are built for yeah, you guys to camp up in. in it. Yeah. Camping. My epic camping spot is literally I, the thing that a sniper is supposed to stand up in. I yeah. have got my karma though full circle because now I've been camped trying to extract there like four times. Yeah. Also, I, I've heard uh, the system is I I haven't seen the video, but it was explained to me through a mead is that there's if I remember correctly three sniper towers and you each coordinate and get in a different one and get on top of them. That seems right? a little complicated. I've only played with just each of them and we were in the same tower because oh okay we're you know we get nervous. Well, he's scared, scared to let you. 
go yeah, off on your own. He's like, I don't. Tower. Yeah, <laughs> you're a rookie cop. You yeah. don't get your own tower. You're just a you get your cop. own patrol you car when you here, fucking yeah. get some kills under your belt. Why don't you badge in your gun on my desk yeah. now? <laughs> Shot too quick. <laughs> I don't, have you seen any of this stuff? Like, I don't. Once again, just going to talk about something I don't really understand, but I saw some man tweet about it mm -hmm. where apparently now there's like a, what's his, like there's a rat uh, streamer that's like super popular mm -hmm. and uh, like it's a ton of praise for camping and shit. And then it's like you got these guys like Devin that are, you know, grandfather of this, you know, the incredible camping spots that just get like death threats all the time. Yeah. No item in the game or nothing. It's just like, feels like Devin doesn't really get the respect he deserves. I mean, I wouldn't like him either if he camped me. Yeah. But there just, there seems to be a change where even, you know, it's like you got the rat cool. Like there's a lot of ratting going on. And it's like if you call it ratting, it's somehow this different thing mm, than like yeah. camping. I think it's and his personality. It's, it's, oh, he just sucks. Yeah. Yeah, it's just he's too too hot headed. Uh, no, who Devin? Yeah, no, I think he. <laughs> I've never seen Devin mad. <laughs> no, I mean, no, ever. it's not that he's hot headed. I think it's that you get the vibe from him that he's disengaged from the game. Mm. Even even at his peak of like caring about the game, you can tell he's just like whatever. <laughs> See, that's what I've been saying on that place. That you know much what I mean? Tarkov. Like yeah. even at his peak of loving the game, he's just like whatever. I'm just killing people yeah. as they exit while I do my homework. Whereas I think this other guy, are you talking it's about like, Stank Rat or there's like another person? I, think, with I know, like I know. Rat no, there's a name. couple. They're Honestly, like I, they're I have into like it. nothing they're against engaged. those people. I've never yeah. seen their stream. I've just seen them in the suggestion. No, it's They've not got like that we thousands have of viewers. Anything against those people? It's that we have something against Devin. That's what yeah. you need to re. Okay, well, that's yeah. yeah Reangle yourself. Like, We're on these guys' sides. We're gonna talk about why Devin sucks. All right, it's because he's not. I'm engaged. gonna make sure he doesn't get an item ever, ever. Because yeah. you've now got Nikita's number. I have Nikita's personal phone number, and I'm going to make You're a call. You're going to make some calls. I'm going to make some calls. I don't want to see an Omid. I want to see a Devin item. N Ever. Omid, I think, has earned it. But Devin? No, I don't. Nah. <laughs> Omid earned it, but then he trolled me. He just so. used <laughs> streaming Tarkov as a step to acquire his degree, and he's got his generational wealth, I'm sure. He's going to be Esquire fine. He wealth, yeah, he doesn't yeah. need... An item, but also Omid. I feel like I feel really bad for Omid because the whole time I was having my you know my goddamn pork jowl trip with the kids screaming oh, in the yeah. car. I had the Christmas morning. I had oh, all that shit. Christmas New Year's. I, I, I passed all that. All that stuff. <laughs> Omid was still just streaming his subathon. He was alive for like oh, poor 40 Omid days. Made a million dollars. I don't give a fuck how much money he made, dude. That was depressing. Yeah. It's depressing, and then the most depressing part is, is it ended com so unceremoniously. We, I was in raid with him, and it ended. Oh, really? Yeah, and he was, I was just like, wondering because I he was seen just like, it it's, forty minutes. It's over. <laughs> like, you, oh. It's gone. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I, dude. And then he he had like a Cartman moment where he was just like, all right, I'll turn off my stream now. We can play, and I'm like. He just stayed on. He just kept playing. Oh, my God. He finished the raid. I was like, dude, I would have just gotten up and walked out of the house. Yeah. I, uh, oh, the sun. Oh, yeah. the glory of the world. I'd probably go have sex with someone right away. Because, <laughs> yeah. you know, he's he's been pent up. Uh, yeah, is he? That is sad. There was no, like, you jack fireworks off or anything. Or what anything? do you go do? Uh, he's certainly jacking off. Like, yeah. I mean, he's gone for. Well, the camera's you know, here up. Yeah. And also, we got to ask a lot him, of shit. Did he jack off while he was. Stuff. While he was live, or the yeah. <laughs> oh, what the hell was that? I I got delirious after twelve hours of streaming. I don't know how he did it for that long. I started getting delirious after like six hours, and then the yeah. next six hours, I was just like, "Well, the Irish personality Irish. took over, and yeah. that that helped." That gave me yeah. Then it was like, "I'm not streaming." This little Irish guy is yeah. And the Irish My that's one of the few people you can get away with making fun of without being considered well, I'm racist. probably also like a really irish guy <laughs> just statistically yeah irish people love it when americans say that <laughs> yeah i mean no, i'm not irish. irish i'm not from ireland but you know my gr yeah. my grandparents are always like i want to go back to ireland and i i've got ruins and no stuff. irish people say that <laughs> yeah. i want to go back to the motherland the they fucking left yeah. that rock and they know it sucks and they spread I, across the world listen, 
I'll I think there's more Irish people outside of Ireland than there are in Ireland. I mean, Irish descent, surely. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. How big's Ireland? Like, a couple square it's fucking, kilometers it's or something? It's pretty big. It's pretty big. Look at those cliffs. Like, 100 feet? No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Where I do want to see it one day. I mean, I want to see it all. I want to see yeah. the whole world, you know? Are you but, more of an uh, Irish guy or a Scottish guy? What would you rather uh, see, Scotland or Ireland? I don't know, because my mom always talks about how they got a bunch of Scottish family. And, like, you know that classic fucking... I talk about this. I got that uncle that's always like, I'm doing ancestry. I'm doing all this yeah. shit. And it's like, we've got a castle. No, we don't. Okay. No. And a million families here all like pinpoint back to yeah. this house. But he went and visited it and stuff. And they let him see. He showed them his like, here are my documents. And they let him see like the vault in the castle. I'm like, what, wait, what this is Scotland? You? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because there's like 12 yeah. Scottish clans or something. There's not yeah. many. Because yeah. at that and Scottish Highland the Festival, they had coolest one. They had tw like twelve tents set up, yeah. each for their own clan, and uh, probably like fourteen. <laughs> Come on, give them, <laughs> give them the benefit of the doubt. There's at least fifteen clans there. <laughs> yeah. But I and don't so, know what yeah, I'd if rather. You, if I think you can I'd say rather... like I'm part of this family. I'm sure they have a castle or whatever. Yeah, they've got a castle that they let you look at, and you go. <laughs> and I'm also hungry and cold. And get out! Get out! You bum! <laughs> We when don't he know held you. up his we papers, I'm sure they fucking rolled their eyes yeah. or whatever, dude. Yeah. Well, I'm related to the guy from Braveheart. Shut up, <laughs> fucking Taurus. Get the fuck out of here. Give us 50 bucks. You can look at our shit in, the, in the room. Here. We yeah. live here. <laughs> I want this castle. It's mine now. <laughs> I've got my paperwork. you got to give this to me. Squatter's rights. Yeah, uh, I don't know which I'd rather. I guess maybe Scotland. I mean, I don't really. I just want to. I just would the like to go on like go to Scotland. I think Scotland. I would love. Uh, they got good go to golf that courses. golf course that gets booked out for like three years in advance <laughs> and costs a million dollars. Yeah, my mom's old uh, bosses used to go there, and they would have they would have a bell that would chime before the fog would roll in, that's and so they would say, scary. <laughs> "When that bell chimes, you don't fucking move." Because it's apparently like the golf course is there, and then it's just sheer cliffs oh, down to the water. Yeah. So and can't. they've had a problem with like. The fog rolls in, and people go like, I think my cart's this way, and then they just walk off the... <laughs> I think I hear <laughs> a banshee over cliff. here. And oh, down shit. into the rocks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which I, would be uh, funny to find, like, some yeah. guy with a golf club down in the rocks. <laughs> Check his pockets. <laughs> my father scooped him out of the sea. Do you want to make fun of Scottish people or something? Oh, we want to go in a... <laughs> That's all I got. Yeah. <laughs> They're pretty, they seem chill. Mm, was uh scottish people rock yeah i'm actually i saw that yeah the matrix the popped in for just that? a second i saw that in real life <laughs> ah! it's in my skin <laughs> i should rip my eyes out in our final podcast <laughs> i'll sacrifice one like Odin you see for more wisdom. of that under in the sockets the yeah. the, the text the number text <laughs> i'm not blind i can see the words of truth Viewers, this is a call to arms. Scoop your eyes out. Put them in my hands. Oh, uh, shit. It'd be cool to do a... Oh, wait. That's a... Never what? mind. That's a plot line in that, that awesome Adam Sandler Western. I was going to say, have like a cult where everyone scoops their eyes out, but then you don't. <laughs> but that's like what they do in that movie. They've got, a, they've got all the bandits where they all have an eye patch on, and they make the guy initiate by scooping his eye out. And then later in the movie, they like... <laughs> Flip it up and no one else has done it. <laughs> oh, it's fuck. just a dumb bit. And he's also got like a really bad lazy eye. And they're like, sorry, we're the like left eye bandits. Like you have to scoop out your good eye. <laughs> Adam Sandler. So you've do done people it with again. a lazy eye, do they get to dictate at all what that eye's doing? Or is it I don't know. I have kind of like I don't really have lazy eyes, but like my eyes kind of like sometimes the pug eyes. Yeah. yeah. You got like a dumb I've dog's got like eyes. A, like a pug's penis and eyes <laughs> and asshole. Yeah. Tail. I've got a little bit of a swirl on the yeah. back of the tailbone. Um, but I don't know. I don't, I honestly don't know if you have like a really bad lazy eye. Like, do you just functionally see over a there? A little bit more? Yeah. Yeah. Like, is it better? I would think it would be better. I have a friend that he, when he would get mad and he would like concentrate on you, his eye would just start to, go off and i was yeah. thinking like is that him does he get like a wider field of view all of a sudden it's, it's battle vision yeah it's like Check putting on flanks. like a it's like iron man putting on his visor when his yeah. fucking eyes go all cattywampus 
Yeah, I've always kind of wondered that. Does it kind of? Sure. I'm sure your brain stitches it together, just like it does the two eyes you have now. So this I would assume it would be like an ultra wide monitor. This is fucked up, query too. But I I was I saw a video the other day of like a bunch of like special needs people that were all hanging out, and some of them were like not cross eyed. I mean, they all have the same type of special needs, and some of them are like super cross eyed. And I'm like, are they like functionally blind, or are they? Can they like kind of when they really need to like in the moment? Can they like? <laughs> are they like? Are they just like? Because when you're cross-eyed, you can't really see shit, you know. Oh yeah, because I of. guess you're like looking at your nose a lot. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Hmm. I maybe bring one on the podcast. <laughs> ask yeah, that's, that sounds like a good fucking idea. <laughs> How many fingers am I holding up? Four? No. Sorry. All right, thanks for being on. <laughs> yeah. Well, that answers that. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, man. Thank, thank you. <laughs> we have to guide them on how to leave the call. It's a big red button. Oh you see four big red buttons. Okay. <laughs> it's that good. <laughs> Keep clicking. There's red get buttons everywhere. <laughs> All right. Smash it. Smash your computer. <laughs> yeah. My dad no. actually called me and had a great idea for a patron episode. That's surprising. Yeah. He was like, hey, since you like antiques and your little co-host fellow likes antiques, he really likes you, by the way. Oh. Um, he was like, you guys should have a patron road show where they it's like show and tell, but they bring patrons would bring like some little artifact that they have some of their antiques in their lives. Just something that they want to share with us. And that way we can also circumnavigate like a person that has like something like that. You can't make that depressing, you know? Yeah. Where the therapy like, episode. This is my grandmother's <laughs> urn. I'm going to, I'm going to kill myself with this because how depressed I am. This is the antique I've chosen to kill myself with. This is an antique club that I'm going to bash my own head in with. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that's a good idea. I think antique roadshow patron edition. That is a great idea, actually, because yeah. I even have, you know, a lot of people email me and are like, can I sit like I want to send you an antique or like, how do I? I people have got oddities out there that they want to show. I'm yeah. sending you a picture in this chat. I think we should buy this with our budget mm -hmm. and then travel to them. Whoa, that's like a that thing's like a fucking <laughs> tank, like a, dude. Yeah. I saw that on Facebook Marketplace the other day. <laughs> That's insane. An awesome, That's an awesome pull. It's a Mercedes, too. That thing rocks. What's it called? <laughs> like future car from the past. <laughs> I, I'd have to. I, I, I want that if, the if Mad Max happens. That's the vehicle yes, I dude, want. Dude, that is yeah. exactly what you need. Also, you, it's like 120 grand. <laughs> but Oh, that's a small price it's to worth pay for it. that. It's worth it. Beautiful also, copper color. I wish I could find the pictures. Like the back of it. Oh, like the trunk can just automatically dump. But at first I was thinking like, this would be a cool, like I'm surprised someone hasn't turned this into like a mobile home. Cause that'd be a bad, but then if you accidentally you're in there one day and you press the fucking button that like tears your house in half. I was, I was thinking that with like, we go around, pick up all the antiques from the patrons and dump. then while we're going down the interstate, I get, that's the end is I go, what's this button do? And you see it just, Cascading them down the interstate. Cops are on us. Press the trick button. <laughs> dump them. Dump the teaks. <laughs> I, yeah, I, dude, this, I would love rocks. to do some sort of. I mean, IRL podcasts are always more fun. Yeah. And doing some sort of yeah, like traveling. Did your dad mean? I'm assuming just like they call in and show us. Yeah, yeah. And how does the antique roadshow work? Would we then like appraise it, or would we just be like, nice? That's a nice. Uh, you know, we would call it antique roadshow, but we don't actually have to appraise it. We're not talented in that regard. I'd say because I, I would bid, look at it and I'd go bid probably forty dollars on that. Yeah, we we tell them what we would pay for it. Yeah, that has and, no bearing on the actual <laughs> price. And we really can't, we're not actually going to buy it probably unless yeah. it's really cool. I did, dude. I had an offer. I'm so bad at replying to people. I actually feel kind of bad. Uh, it's just a problem. It, you know, don't take it personally, patrons. If you message me, you're like, this guy left me on red. I don't reply to my own parents a lot. So why the hell am I going to reply to it you? It also gets overwhelming. It, it does. Yeah. yeah. We, especially, you know. Actually, like you even bringing it up brings me anxiety. I know. I don't like it. No. I don't like it. But a guy offered me probably the most one-sided deal. I couldn't even take it because I'm like, what are you getting out of this? This guy wanted to, he was like, I want to 
edit for you for free and I want to like make you like highlights and shit. Oh, 990 ooh. Discord messages uh. and over a thousand emails. Ah. <laughs> and uh, 240. Yeah. What was that? 242 text messages. I have 31 missed calls. 636. <laughs> 636 texts I haven't opened. It's uh, it's scary. It builds up. It does. It does. Yeah. Uh, but he was offering to edit for free. Make me like, I don't know. A superstar? Animations. Yeah. Make me a superstar. <laughs> Get me at the streamies nominated. Mm -hmm. uh, and also... He wanted to, he was like, my grandfather had these collections of, like, real Star Wars props or something. He had, like, a full-size Star Wars statue. He's like, I'll also give you these. No, I'm dude. Like, okay. What, what Eventually, you here? are going to have to need to sit back and realize that, like, if somebody was planning well, to trap up. you, like, that that email. A big sound. box with a Star Wars toy <laughs> yeah, underneath I'll it. I'll edit for free. Yeah. I'll suck your dick. You get a bunch of Star Wars figurines for I know. free. Well, it did sound too Just good. Just let to be me true. in. Yeah, yeah. That, that's too That's too much. I'm also like, what am I going to give? Like, what joy are you going to get out of this? Like, what? I don't know. What no. can I do? Also, dude, I don't know if you feel that on Twitch now that you've streamed a little bit more. But, like, I'm sure someone's given you a bunch of gift subs or something. Yeah. I always feel like. What do I do that is worth this amount of like money this guy just spent? Like, how do I even say thank you in a way that's like, because I, you know, I used to play the recorder. Can't do that because my dog goes fucking crazy when I play the thing. I'm like, what do I, like, I'm not going to, I wish I could do a backflip. That'd be a cool thing to be able to do, maybe. We should learn I, how to do those. I would be, that would be nice. Yeah. I just blew my own back out walking up the stairs. So I don't know what doing a backflip attempt would do to me. Yeah, um, I'm still recovering. Like a week, you might later. be one of those people. Have you seen those videos where people try to do a backflip and then they land on their head and die? Yeah, yeah. yeah you, uh, you well, I haven't seen that. where a guy dies, but yeah, I know what you're talking. I'm gonna scorpion and yeah. just like, <laughs> paralyze myself. No, like, I, I, the video I saw was a, a drunk guy tried to suplex somebody outside of a bar, <sighs> and he ended up just like basically his face was touching the pavement and his back was touching the pavement at the same time. <sighs> he like pulled his head all the way backwards, and those videos concern the hell out of me or any video where someone picks somebody up and throws them down on the pavement yeah. and cracks their head. Those concern the hell out of me. But this guy was the aggressor uh, aggressor in this scenario. It's like you tried to suplex a guy yeah. like you tried to be also, the smasher and you ended up the smash. How awesome if a guy tries to suplex you and you're like, ah, and then you it's done. You're like, what the? And you get up and he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I, I killed a guy I, when he tried to yeah, suplex me. Like Don't I did fuck that. with me. Yeah. I did that. I did a <laughs> counter that it's very subtle, but I went, <laughs> I put my head down a little and he killed yeah. himself. It's really, yeah. My counter started when I gave him 14 beers at the bar yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I watched him get all fucked up. There, there's some really funny scene in Sunny in Philadelphia where Max, like, trying to be, show that he's the bouncer and he tries to choke out someone <laughs> and he chokes himself he like puts himself in a sleeper hold and he passes out and Charlie's like what the hell like he's got, he just slips right out of it and he's asleep <laughs> it's like that but with the suplex that kills you <laughs> the suplex is yeah. gonna kill me that's yeah I don't I can't even remember what you're talking about <laughs> oh yeah like thanking for like a guy gave me 50 subs I'm like what do I I guess they probably know, though, the bar's low. Like, they know before they give it to me. I can only be, like, appreciative. Hence, I just feel dude, bad. Dude, you're, you're verbalizing right now why I don't like streaming. Because I feel like, you know, we were talking earlier about somebody raiding me, and then and then I was just, yeah. like, caught off guard by it. And I was, and it's, uh, yeah, very quickly, I, I can't have a composed... At least with a video, I can go back and just be like, oh, that didn't land. That fucked up. I can yeah. either edit it to make it land or I can cut it out. <laughs> it's never and, happened. And yeah. live, live, I fuck up stuff all the time. And I go, oh, yeah, you just have a thousand people through. just saw that. Yeah, yeah. that's brutal. A thousand yeah, people just saw that. The number is a little scary sometimes. Like when I did drops, I'm like, this is more people than I like my entire high school system. Yeah. <laughs> are just watching me 
And every time I die, they're like, ah, this guy sucks. Yeah. Every time I make a joke that doesn't land, which is like 80% of them, I'm like, oh, these guys all think I'm stupid. Fine, yeah, maybe. they all hate me. I mm-hmm. wish someone could give me 50 gift subs and I could just be like, here you go, and hand a, something off my shelf to them through my camera. <laughs> here you go, and here's a trade for you. Yeah. But I can't. And I'm not going to send people shit because I'm scared. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I don't do things. So there's like a couple barriers. What you need to do is we need to shift audience and get whatever the fuck Omid has going on where he just left. To He left me in charge. It was me and and somebody. Maybe me and Devin. <laughs> and he and I was like, I was streaming to Discord and he just put my my like ca- camera view on there. Oh. And he, he was like, I'm going to go shit and shower. Bye. And he just left for hours. <laughs> no, it wasn't hours. He left for like... Probably 45 minutes to an hour. Yeah. And there was people in his chat. They're like, where'd the big man go? And and there was people like, he's going to go take a break. Be patient. He'll be yeah. back in a minute. Like, there's nobody in the chat that's going to vouch for me if I go leave. They're just going to be banging yeah. at the gates, angry. Yeah, and I know. I, when I used to live not in a yard and I had to, like, take, like, while streaming, take Pip on, like, proper walks. Yeah. The whole time I'm just like, oh god, like go piss you dog, like oh god, everyone's like getting so angry oh, at me. You get a shit trail, hurry up! Because yeah. <laughs> like, sometimes Gwen, on her way to go fucking shit or whatever, she'll like stop for a second and be like, somebody walk through here. Like the the hours after the yard guys come, she goes out there and she's like, I can smell them out here. She'll take in, forever to piss in the fence and yard. Yeah, Pip will just like smell every aspect of the yard before he pisses. I'm just like, oh god, please go. <laughs> And he will only piss when I'm out there with him. Like, he won't, even though there's a dog door, like, he's just laying by me right now. He He's always just right by me, you know? Mm. So, like, he has to kind of wait till I go out there, and I'm like, go piss. And then he's just, like, <laughs> just meandering and sniffing around for a while. I'm like, God, dude, like, what are you looking? Like, the perfect piss. It's all one big toilet. Just go piss somewhere. Yeah. And then it, and then he'll shit, like, right on the, like, <laughs> steps or something. I'm like, God, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, at least my dog has the goddamn common courtesy. She'll go to like the oh, there's a squirrel like looking through my window and my door. I want to go look out there and <laughs> just open the blinds. <laughs> he's, up, he's up there at the window looking in. Now, Gwen will walk to the edge of the yard because she's like, I don't want to step in my own shit later, and so she shits yeah. on the periphery. I have to. Yeah, I got there with a little fucking bucket a lot because Piffle just shit like if it's even inclement weather at all. He will go like one step from the fucking door. <laughs> like right here, I'm gonna fucking lay down. Hi, dog. Hi, dog. Damn. Do you want to see him? Yeah, let it rip. Ah, ah. Oh, got one. Got a big one. Look at him. He's a little bit more slender face than I thought he was. Hey, Pip. Hey, say something. <laughs> say something in the mic. He's. Um. I'm, I'm, I'm a dog. <laughs> That's what he'd say. Yeah. Hey, he's just a cool old dude. Yeah, he's he been does. chilling. He likes the new room setup, even though I know people are going to be mad they can't see him jump up on the couch. Okay. Get that oh, he, he likes it better that way? Because now he can crawl underneath my desk and lay underneath the couch. And I don't know why, but he likes it under there. So it's kind of, it's pretty cute when I go walk around and sit on my couch, he'll like crawl out from underneath my legs. Oh. And it's just like a fun little thing for us where I'm like, yeah. hmm, this dog's using a little tunnel, which I like. And he gets to be in the tunnel, which I'm sure he likes. I, <sighs> Would that? I, I don't, I I don't I know why small. dogs like that. They like hiding under stuff. I had a panic attack one time because Abby left to go do something. <laughs> I forget what. She was out of the house. And uh, and I was like, oh, I'm watching the kids. And so I'm going to I I'd take a shit, though. And so I went into the half bath. And I just left the door open while I was pooping. And uh, I figured, I'll hear if something's wrong. Yeah. Halfway through my shit, I realized, I don't hear a damn thing. That's the scary part. Yeah. It's complete silence. silence. I'm like, something's wrong. So I get up but from pooping. The shit is, and you got to keep wiping. <laughs> and it's one of those ones. No, I, I hurried up and finished. And, and I went out into the living room. Nothing. There's nobody. I went into the bedrooms. Nobody. And I'm like, where the fuck did the kids go? <laughs> Where they were all just like, I made my family disappear. <laughs> they were just under the bed, 
Like, oh. Gwen too. They were all just laying under there. And I never even thought to check because the bed is like that far off the ground. <laughs> I, I never thought in a million years that fat fucking dog would get under yeah. there. And now I've seen her do it, which is funny because she throws her little drumstick legs completely oh, flat yeah. so and then cute. does like an army crawl under it. So cute. Yeah. But uh, uh, that's where she hangs out during thunderstorms and stuff. I've I've gathered God, now. Dude. My dog's such a pussy. You know, I'm underneath the bathroom, hence the poop pipe, hence the, you know, now if it happens again, it's going to go right my computer. Not ideal. But now, for some reason, my when I was streaming one day, my roommate said to come. No. Also, this is not like, you know, there's a lot of pipes and shit in here. Also, where you turn on the water is in here mm-hmm. just by my TV. They're like, ah, ah. And the noise it made freaked my dog out so much that he was like, ah. Now, anytime someone uses the bathroom above me, which thankfully is like only when my roommate's little brother's here, as soon as the shower turns on, he goes fucking crazy. Or like someone flushes a toilet. Yeah. He hates it. I feel so bad. <laughs> but like something about that noise just like now is permanently. I'm hoping it goes away because for a while he was scared of the TV out of nowhere. Like when the TV would be going, he'd be like, uh. And now he's fine with it, so maybe I'll yeah, just go away. Dogs, maybe I need to do exposure therapy where I just, like, put him on the ceiling, like, right by the pipe <laughs> that's scaring him. It's like, yeah. hold him. Oh, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. You know those, like, classic uh, kids' toys where it's, like, it's a little thing that you pull and then it has a little robotic hand that goes, like, meow, 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 meow. Oh, it's, like, yeah. on a stick? Yeah, those are we sweet. Got, yeah, we got two of those, one for each of the girls. They don't like them at all, but they go, they give them to me and they go, Dad, hold on to these and act like they're really long arms and come try Sweet. to come. Like they tell me to play monster. And so yeah. I follow them around and go, ah, click, 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 <laughs> click. And um, they scare the fuck out of my dog. And I'm uh. like, they're nothing bad. So I tried to do exposure therapy by holding a comb <laughs> with those things, <laughs> yeah, strangling her with both of them. <laughs> No, I tried to like just like just scratch her back with him and be like, look, it's not scary. There's nothing wrong here. She is freaked out by the, <laughs> by the little grabbers. <laughs> pinch, pinch. You should pinch. grab her little cheeks with them and oh, you're so cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dogs are funny how stupid they are and how yeah. scared they get a dumb as shit. They Pip get scared over just weird. He's scared weird stuff. of bottles, like if you put them on the ground. I don't even remember how we found this out, but like you can just put a bottle in a doorway and it's effectively a fence because he just will not. He'll just like, what the hell is that? Dude, that's the dog I need because I want to build a fence in the backyard to keep Gwen in. Bottles. And I would be able to do like uh, just a picket fence with like plenty of gap between lumber and everything. The one I, I built at the place where Zach lives now is like. It's like a Fort Knox wood fence. Like it, the boards, like we had to do chicken wire underneath the boards down into the soil to keep Gwen from digging out. Oh, she God. Would, she just would tunnel under there. And he doesn't, uh, I don't even think he's, I don't think he even knows how to dig. He doesn't even know what soil is. He's just yeah. an inside dog. Yeah. No, he's got to, well, it's scary because on one side of our fence is our neighbor's pit bull. And uh, pit he doesn't want to dig. <laughs> <laughs> like bark at it and the dog just stands there like <laughs> ready you know that dog is come into this yard afraid. i'm not even gonna yeah. bark yeah yeah it just watches pip through the fence and i'm like oh, okay <laughs> like i'll go over there and like this fence is scary i need to make sure that thing's sturdy uh but uh, yeah i don't know what his plan is if he ever <laughs> breaks through because pip like hates that dog that dog actually seems sweet like it just sits there it's just like Whatever. Uh, are you are you like pro pitbull or against pitbull? As will a you breed? condemn pitbulls? <laughs> yeah, will you condemn all pitbulls? I am not a guy you? that's gonna be like. I think every pitbull's a little sweetheart, and I really am kind of like indifferent. But living in this area, there are a lot of pitbulls, and there are. I don't even like taking my dog on walks outside anymore. Yeah, because multiple times there's just been stray pitbulls walking around. I'm anti pitbull. I'm strong. I'm not anti. like I don't really care either way. I do think, you know, I'm always like, oh, I think it's more the owner, but I do think those dogs are horrifying. Yeah, they're scary in a me. way. You know, like yeah. I've had friends so that have had like really cool pitbulls that I really like. Yeah, and, uh, you know, they're fine dogs. So. But you see one that's like jacked up, 
and it'll scare you, put fear in you, because their mouths are like, Argh. yeah. I don't know. I guess I wouldn't. <laughs> I'm not anti pit bull, but I wouldn't want my kids around one. Yeah. What about people not using leashes in parks and stuff? I fucking hate that more than anything. Is when yeah, someone goes to a park and they're like, "Get on out there, doggies!" and they just send their dogs out. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? I got, I, yeah, I I got also, a three year old right here. What the hell? I don't like that I, unless you like real like. There's a couple dogs I'd fully tra- like my. Now it's an old ass dog, but my family dog on my mom's side, just like the best dog ever. You know, everyone's got that classic yeah, family you, dog. He's yeah, like but 14. the people Nobody. that have great dogs that are well trained like that, they're not the people that go to a park no, and go, I know. get out no, there, dog. See, he's not even like well trained. Like, I guess he is. He's just always been non, like a natural. Yeah. yeah and non-aggressive. like, there's tourists all the time that bring their dogs around. They'll just like have little yap dogs that'll get in his face and be like, rah, rah, rah. he's just, you know, he doesn't give a shit. He yeah. just. He knows he can kill it. He just keeps walking. But now he's so old that he's got that, like, family guy dog back legs where he's just, like, it's so sad to see. But they get all twisted up. And then this dog used to be a giant. Now I can just go up to him and pick him up. It's crazy. I carry him around, you know, to help him get outside and get inside. But it's, he's old. It's sad. Yeah, And we've had, is- we had his dad and we had his dad's mom. You know, we've had three generations of this dog. And now he's the final, he's the final one. I, uh, there, there's a dog that I was never, I was never God like a big you, fan Romeo. of these dogs, but yeah. Abby's family has some little, uh, wiener dogs that <laughs> when we started <laughs> you're, dating, you're funny. they, funny name. they had just gotten them. And then, uh, the oldest dog, Bella, then had a litter of puppies and, mm-hmm. And everybody kind of like it was like the Starks from Game of Thrones, you know. Each each kid got yeah. a got a wiener dog. It's like and- the op. It's like kind of like a dire wolf. It's like almost <laughs> as cool. Yeah, these things can kill rodents in tunnels and stuff. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and I got to watch all them grow up, and now they've all died from old age except for one. And this uh-huh. one last dog, because none of those all those dogs got fixed. Yeah, and so it's like this last of its line. And he comes around, and he had a he had a fucking uh, a cleft palate when he was born, mm-hmm. and so they had to like get it surgery or whatever. Which would you give a a little puppy that's born that won't nurse or anything? Would you go get it surgery? Yeah, I mean, if it's like gonna die if it doesn't get it, yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I would put uh, that fucker in the garbage can. Yeah, no, a little puppy. There's like. There's like six other ones. Like, fuck that, dude. I would have thrown that thing in the woods or whatever. But uh, <laughs> that's just different between me and you, you know? Yeah, okay. Welcome. Yeah. So they, they spent several hundred bucks getting this thing a cleft palate several readjusted. Hundred, you, yeah. wouldn't, you wouldn't spend several uh, hundred dollars on a baby a dog. Are you kidding me? This thing was hairless at this point. It was it was a tiny little thing. Nah, I wouldn't. Anyways, the. Uh, <laughs> you're like, okay. Go on. <laughs> okay, go on. Go on. Go on. Sure. Um, yeah, the, the, this thing is just walking around. Like, Look how long of a life it's lived from that. It's the it could have died like the next day. It could have like little pups like that. Sometimes they just go, you know. <laughs> yeah, because there's no point even feeding them or watering them or giving them milk or anything. At that point, <laughs> they're just too <laughs> yeah. tiny. Yeah. So, anyways, yeah, it uh, this thing now with the cleft palate and everything. It's got like mm. the Joaquin Phoenix scar. Oh, cool. Uh, it's it's the last one, and it's you can tell it's looking around like, why are all these dogs tall? Where's all my friends? Where's all my it's short sad. homies? They're my all neighbors gone now. have two really old wiener dogs that are. I think one of them just passed, and I feel bad for them. But God, they're annoying because yeah, those dogs. Suck, anytime I, they, dude, one day my neighbors, I just know this because I just talk too much shit, and it's gonna catch up to me. I know somehow one day they're just gonna like find this podcast, but they fucking these fuckers. They have a fenced in yard that isn't connected to their front door. It's five feet away and they don't put their wiener dogs in there. They just open up the door because the lady's like bigger, huge. Yeah. And she just opens up the door and they go out there and they're just like, rah, 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 rah. and they come and shit in our yard. And anytime mm-hmm. I'm going to my car, I swear to God, the lady's also like, we are pretty convinced she just waits for us. Yeah. And then like when we go out, she'll be like, Go out, and then they'll come over, and then she'll have an excuse to like oh, saddle up like, for a conversation. Like I gotta get because yeah. her dogs will just come right in front of you, and be like, ah, 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 ah. 
barking, and then Pip's inside, you know, going fucking crazy because he thinks I'm under attack. This is the lady that masturbates while she watches your roommate work out, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. basically. She yeah. and I can smell her pussy from across the street. Yeah, <laughs> and you also told uh, me she's grotesque. Sight, I didn't say smell, that. Smell. Presence. No, I didn't say <laughs> she does not smell bad. Okay, uh, <laughs> but. I, yeah, I'm like, when that dog dies, I'm like, it's a little bittersweet because I think one of them's dead. I like, they're funny looking. They look, they sound like little Muppets too because they're so old. They're just like, ah, ah. <laughs> their voice well, box is gone. <laughs> they're, they are just rotting. They are yeah. rotting dogs. They're like 14 year olds. Mm. Uh, also, oh, this is not totally off topic, but you know, so cats can just live like long as fuck. Yeah. There's something about my friend's house, this hometown hero. His cats live for unprecedented amounts of time, I swear. Like, like I, uh, I don't know what the record is. Probably, like, something insane for a cat. Like, 28 or 30 or some shit. But his cat just died that was 25, I think, or 24. And now he still has... It's like... they. I knew all these cats when I was a kid. And I just went there during Christmas. And I'm like, oh, who's this little guy? And they're like, oh, that's still him. That's still, like, Salvi. Jeez, like how old is it? Yeah. Like, oh, he's like twenty one. Like what is happening? I didn't realize they lived that long. They're also outdoor indoor cats, so it's like, and they live in the middle of the woods. I'm like how have coyotes not killed these cats yet? Yeah. And the saddest thing is, they had the mother and daughter cat. Of I had a cat when I was a kid, Hambone, and he was the cat's brother, and my cat died like, you know, fifteen twenty years ago to a coyote or something and then they had its mom for like 15 more years and every time i'd see it and the sister i'd just be like oh i wish hambone were alive <laughs> and these cats live for fucking ever the daughter yeah. one lived to tw it's the one that lived to like 24 <clears throat> just remarkable yeah stalt just got a cat i bet you that thing's gonna oh. outlive him it's probably. long as yeah, probably. Yeah, that, that cat's gonna live for about fifty more years. Yeah. <laughs> I know Salt loves cats, dude. I see him yeah. fucking liking cat posts on Twitter all the time and stuff. Yeah. That's, that's a good, sign good of mental him. illness. Good for you, Salt. I hope I you got. I think if you're yeah. a grown man that shares cat cat photos, that's mental you illness. Freak. Yeah. You should put that thing down. <laughs> I really want a cat. I do. But I don't. I also, I don't. I'm a dog boy. Such a, I want it, dude. I want to. I want an orange Maine Coon that's as big as Pip. That way they can fight. I am, though, I've got such a sweet setup right now where Pip just sleeps in as long as I do and goes to bed when I do. And if I get a, one of those cats that wakes you up at, like, 5 a.m., just like, yeah, I go fucking crazy. I mean, I wouldn't. I That's something. And also, I have so many knickknacks so precariously placed on edges of things. If I had one of those cats that's just like, fuck it. <laughs> I could lose a lot of things. Yeah. I just got a fully glass sword today, and I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. I, I kind of feel like that might be the, the reason why I'm not a cat person. It's just I my dog stays on the ground. Yeah. I don't want any reason. Like, if if I I can, you know, have, like, I can put a goddamn ham on the countertop yeah. and not have to worry about With Gwen smoke. jumping up there. Yeah, and, and I can put a pie on the windowsill and only get cartoon <laughs> neighbors. You know, I don't get any <laughs> out there yeah yeah i know my dog can jump like maybe an inch off the ground so it's just a whole new world of shit you have to be careful about but also yeah. they're so cute <laughs> oh yeah. that's why you look at the little pictures that stalt retweets and likes yeah. on, on wait, twitter yeah that gets me all my fill of cat stuff i need they're cute for like the very beginning of their life they're also and a then lot within easier, like though a couple months i'm they're not that cute to me anymore after probably like two months, I'd say they're not like kitten stage anymore. You lose the love for it. Yeah, I basically, and that's when I. I don't know. Put I really like, <laughs> dude. I I like my like my mom's cats. Another like I know it's kind of like I know it's like a moral to I don't know. Why I rolled my eyes with that. It's like bad to have outdoor cats for Is like it? the local ecosystem because they're little uh, predators. Yeah. Like my my brother has a cat named Creature that will just bring into his house like dead rabbits and dead squirrels and birds and shit. This cat mm. is fully feral. I mean, it just kind of came to him, but now it just leaves him dead things all the time. But my cat, Mace Windu, you know, it's pretty old. It just is like always shit outside. I've never seen it where it shits. You know, I've never even seen it use the bathroom. Yeah. And it kind of just lounges around the property. I don't think it really kills much. And 
it's like so easy. You know, like you don't have to do shit for that cat. It's just kind of like pretty. You put food in its bowl, and that's it. And uh, I don't know. I yeah, kind of nothing just wrong want, with that. Yeah. Yeah, I would love a little I feel cat like, like a that. Out- outdoor cat, if you have the right property for it, would be a good thing. Yeah. I think my my uncle used to have one, and he had like a a barn. You know, a lot of our cats like have died to coyotes. So. Little mice and stuff like that that you can eat. Yeah, yeah. My my grandma and grandpa had a fuck ton of barn cats for just their farm. Are coyotes cats even are cool. a problem here? That's a, I guess they're like national, yeah. aren't they? They're kind of widespread. No Every, everybody's got coyotes. I think we get pretty bad here. where I'm from. We also have mountain but lions, which I think is weird. Pythons, vading. Yeah, pythons too. Have you seen that video of the guy with the anaconda where he like he's picking it up on the floor and he wraps it around his neck like a scarf? And then the anaconda just goes, All right, I'm gonna tighten on you, dog, and just No. If he just stiffens up like a board and falls over. He so, died? No, he doesn't die, but oh. other handlers come out of nowhere and go like, Why did you put the <laughs> You put the giant twenty foot want. snake around your neck? Yeah. You're dumb as shit for that. I just kind of picked it up Snakes and made sure he was me all right. the fuck out, dude. I see, like, all sorts of pets. Like, I used to have a snake. Can't, I could not do it now. Yeah. You know, I, it was cool when I was a kid because I wasn't afraid of them. But now... I feel I'm, like there's... So, like, my gripe with, with cats is, like, why get a cat when you can have a dog? Like, I feel like the companionship level is much higher... For dogs. Some cats are like genuinely, you know, they like come up to you and they yeah, like You sound you like Stalt. Stalt's always like, yeah, it's like, yeah, my cat's super cuddly. I'm like, but it's not a dog. It's just like, <laughs> it's not there. Well, but see, my yeah. dog is more cat than typical. Like, he's not cuddly. Yeah. He just has to be near me. That pisses me off when you're an indifferent dog, a yeah. dog that's just like not a cuddler. It's like, what the fuck are you? I have to it, pray for a thunderstorm so he gets under the covers with me. <laughs> It's let fucked me spoon up. Him. Uh, yeah, it is like a cat dog. And then uh but snakes, there's not even a, a hint of camaraderie with a snake. I know. Yeah, so like what they can sit like, on your oh, shoulder gonna... with you? Like that's not that's not really snuggling yeah. camaraderie. I've always felt, I guess I used to want like a lizard really bad too, yeah. but it's like, what can a lizard do for me? <laughs> yeah. They can sit on a hot rock that I've put a lamp over. I think it'd That's be cool me. to get like a tortoise. I always, when I was a kid, That's I was cool. really into the idea of having a pet that would. This is just like what a sad loser thinks a lot, you know, with no yeah. love. I'm like, I want a pet that will be there with me my entire life. So I really wanted a parrot. I've said this before. Thank fuck. Thank you, God. My mom did not let me get one. You know, yeah. never even considered it because they Cause live now, like 50 years, don't they? Yeah. Now I'd be like 25 with just my a like. Parrot. My 20 year old parrot that's just like rah, 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 rah. birds also freak me out. I don't like the fluttering, yeah. Uh, even my chickens, you know, they when I pick they're them they're up, fucking they're loud, like, they're loud, yeah. dude. Do you know yeah. how much that hinders the apartment search? If you're like, oh, I also have a, <laughs> a I have a parrot that can say the n word, is that cool? <laughs> yeah, What's, sorry, no, my mom got it for me during my teenage yeah. years, yeah. and I, I thought it would be funny if I taught Clinton it slurs. Tarantino. Yeah. yeah. I was watching Django Unchained yeah. when it was. A I baby. can't unteach it a decade worth of slurs overnight. Of okay, yeah. I've had some personal growth, but the parrot but is like, not that. Or like a tortoise, where it's then like a family heirloom. That's mm-hmm. cool. Like you can have like a two hundred year old tortoise, but also yeah. it's like, would my grandchildren want to be like? Fuck, I gotta. This is this tortoise, my grandpa, or what? Like, what's going on with this tortoise? I think I think I've, we brought this up on the show before, but I oh. think uh, Charles oh, Darwin like had a. A Galapagos tortoise that's that, still alive or something. Yeah, he ended up being owned by uh, the crocodile hunter, Irwin. Can you really own a tortoise, or can you? Well, just no, take because it? I think it outlived. <laughs> yeah, the oh, crocodile yeah. hunter guy too. So, well, that was a little unceremonious. But <laughs> that's an old ass tortoise. That thing's been around. You live in like the climate too. Like you could have one probably, right? Or you could just get a fenced in yard and just have a fucking tortoise out there. Big ass tortoise. Yeah, that'd, that'd be, cool. be sweet. That would one be. of the huge ones, dude. Those things get shocking. Like, here's my classic animals can be bigger than I thought they <laughs> yeah. could be. But I remember going to a zoo and seeing a, one of those really big tortoises in Florida and being like, holy shit. Yeah, they're, they're thing, big boys. I could like probably curl up in its shell. Yeah. What's and really cool is at the, the Florida Natural History Museum, oh, that's cool. only a couple thousand years ago, there used to be giant armadillos as well. Like six feet tall, 
And by a couple That's... thousand years ago, I mean like hundreds of thousands <laughs> of years ago. But <laughs> just a couple, you know. Yeah. How like cool is that? Like you kill one, hollow it out, and make a house out of its big ass shell. Or keep it cool. as a pet. Nah. Well, I mean, when it gets cold, you kill it and make a house out of its shell. Or if but, you could time the your walk backwards, you could ride it into town by walking on it <laughs> while it's rolling. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know. There's so many. I hate looking at, like, cool animals. Do armadillos that, roll? <laughs> is that not an armadillo? No, that's a roly-poly. It's not a fucking... I, I, I don't know if they actually roll, but I know they roly can roll. roll. I, I don't think I armadillos do not. <laughs> there's... Aren't there like two different types of armadillos too? Oh, I gotta look this up, dude. Well, this is a roll? this is a six foot tall one. I know. Imagine how big that would be rolling. <laughs> I don't think he rolls. I think it's just one hard, hairy carapace <laughs> with his little his little shrew like face that sticks out one end. La Plata three banded armadillos, also known as the Southern three banded armadillos, are the arm only armadillo that can curl up into a complete ball. Oh, really? They're in South America. Oh. Yeah, dude, those things can, they, they look like a fucking soccer ball when they're done. I mean, not really. I stand corrected then. Hey, hold on. Hello? Hey. <laughs> this part of a trumpet just fell onto my GoXLR and hit nothing and all my audio went out for a second. And you know what's funny is I can now hear music that you're playing. <laughs> what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you. Okay, so your mouthpiece from your trumpet fell, and it, I, know, what? I know your music. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Wait, are you serious? I did for you, a little wait, bit. No, are you still here? Yeah, I can now. Yeah. I, it didn't even hit It hit the plastic part. It just like... <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. well, I can hear it. <laughs> All right. Hopefully that doesn't... I'll just turn that off. Hopefully that doesn't mess anything up. Yeah, the... Uh, oh, yeah, the thing does just roll up. I remember my stupid fucking brother. Now that you see, you saw, you showed off your little mouthpiece. My brother played tuba, and oh. so when I went into band, That's I played tuba, boy. and uh, yeah, basically. And um, my <laughs> my brother had uh, the big mouthpiece, and in in order to clean it, he was like, "Hey, let's boil it in bleach." I don't know why you would Ugh. boil bleach to clean it. Why not just put it in bleach? Um, even then, you're not supposed to put bleach on it because it has like yeah. it's corrosive and stuff. So the the boiling bleach stripped off any of the shininess, and it just looked like I had made it from like cast iron or something. Like it was it was just very rough looking. And uh, he used that for a couple years, and then five years later, I come along and I play tuba. So I get hand me down his shitty mouthpiece that looked like he had shoved it up his ass. No shine to it at all. And immediately, like, first day, the band instructor picks it up out of my hand and uses it as, like, an example of, like, don't have shit like this. And he was like, what would you do to this? Like, made an example out of me. I was like, first of all, I got it from my fucking brother, okay? Like, I, we yeah. didn't buy a new mouthpiece. He's like, what would you do to it? I was like, bleach or something? He's like, don't put it in bleach, dumbass. Yeah. Read the rules. I was like, dude, these rules were broken five yeah. years ago when I was but a boy. Lay off, dude. Yeah, lay off. Not my problem. I had I, nothing but negative experiences in band. I tried out for stuff. They they told me I sucked at everything and then just pushed me into the, listen, the tuba Listen, you're a fat position. nerd. You play tuba, okay? <laughs> yeah. There's a kid in my school named Tuba Joe. Well, that's not his name, but I'm starting to realize how brutal nicknames can stick. Don't even know if his name was Joe, but Tuba Joe, I'm pretty sure he, like, killed a person and then himself. There's a couple people from my school. There was Tuba a, players are tortured, okay? Don't fuck with us. There was right? a football player on my team. Uh, no, nah, well, I didn't play football. Quarterback starting. Uh he fucked his own cousin, and I remember thinking that was just like a mean rumor, and then I found out that was true, and that was pretty gross. And then I think he, now he's like a cop in my town. Wait, uh, wait, wait. What? Okay, this is big. Breaking news? Breaking news. Huge. Go check your Bitcoin. Go check your Ethereum. <laughs> this is big. Uh, I should have bought more. Yeah. Oh, sweet. 
Okay. I've now made sixty dollars on Bitcoin. This is huge. You're in the positive. I'm in the positive. Let's up see on top. Ethereum. That's what's up. I've lost a hundred dollars. Yo, but it's coming up, dude. Look at that thing climb. We've almost broke even. Okay, we are crypto bros. The yacht's gonna be I here around the, the corner. Line. Yeah. I just don't know on on my Robin Hood account. When do I sell this? You to get sell my it money? when you break even, like every other crypto bro out there. When do I? When you do sell I, when it when enough? you don't owe money. <laughs> I just honestly keep that entire account for like tax season. Like, yeah nightmare i'm just gonna have to take everything out and i have a feeling so that investing. bitcoin is going to plummet when everybody else has to do the exact same thing when they have to pay in taxes they'll be like bye, 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 Bit bye bitcoin's more. up that's free money we we'll just sell bought, it and forgotten dude, about it it's insane when i looked on there the other day basically the only reason after like four years i'm up is completely from nvidia every <laughs> other thing I've invested in is at like a loss in a couple are up like 40 bucks and then there's a couple that are down like a lot and it all evens out over this whole span of me making like a couple you know a couple hundred bucks yeah i kind of lost a lot of money on those kathy wood uh index funds uh what uh, the fuck was i thinking okay yeah i yeah. i got got pretty bad from a tupperware scheme going around the neighborhood fuck. housewives trying to you know get me into their selling tupperware yeah and make it back tupperware's bit avon too yeah lost some she money said, how avon. much money can you invest i said i don't know what's how's five thousand dollars she said you're gonna be rich you're gonna make a lot of tupperware money <laughs> i don't even i don't even take lunches out so Oh. You know, me and you would make a good uh, good pair because uh, I did Cutco knives, oh. and I have a full ass Cutco set. We could cut something and then put it in a Tupperware. <laughs> Tupperware. Yeah, yeah. I, now, dude. I, if I any trained. young people are watching this, if Cutco knives comes up to you and asks if you want to be a salesman, run. <laughs> and and not, if a, if a milf is trying to sell you Tupperware or Tupperware mm -hmm. or whatever it's called or makeup. Yeah, just buy a little. Yeah, or, or yeah, yoga dude, pants, makeup. What's that makeup company that Avon. there was a there was a girl that went to school with me, and her mom sold so much of that makeup shit that they gave her like the makeup car. Yeah, and she was the like, ooh, look ooh. at me. And I would hate like, to drive that around. Like, uh, oh, you sold yeah. so much, you get to yeah. drive around a billboard. It's like, yeah. shouldn't this be for the interns or something? You get to lease this makeup car. Yeah, you get to own it. Uh, I, I've been checking around with my friends about that because, you know, we have a lot of, you know, we still keep in coordinates, a lot of my friends from early on. And we've just been wondering, like, who will be the first to come to us with, like, hey, guys, I've, I've got an investment opportunity or, or like some sort of pyramid something. scheme yeah. or something. And how awkward will it be when that when that day happens? Mm. I know they're going to come to me. Yeah. Look at me. Look at all my stuff. They know I've got it all. They're going to come to me with an investment opportunity. Yeah. And I don't have the ability to say no very well. So yeah. I'm going to be probably an early investor. Hmm. Are pyramid schemes even still like, are they doing all right? Yeah, they're doing I, fine. They're doing better okay. than ever because, well, not, they're not pyramid schemes. They're multi-level marketing schemes now. Mm. And they're they're super popular on like Instagram and stuff like that because they'll oh. they have people... Yeah. Uh, Basically doing referrals and stuff. That's super huge on Instagram. I think a lot of those like makeup companies, there's some like like uh, pre-workout like shake bullshit that is geared yeah. towards ladies that is a, like a pyramid scheme. Uh, there's definitely some like not Lululemon, but like some sort of legging company or something like that. That's the same I, way. I remember in college I got I got the... Uh He's too modern of slang. I got the ick from a girl, uh, which is hard to do in college when you're, you know, desperate. But she fell into a pyramid scheme because her mom was super into one. And her mom also got different girl totally than the high school one. Got like a Mercedes Benz, she claimed, for free from this from these people for selling so much. And her and her mom started like tag teaming like Instagram posts about selling this, I don't know, fitness powder or something. And everyone that knew her 
was just like, uh, <laughs> you know, like behind her back, everyone's like, oh, this is pretty. Yeah. Because she started reaching out to people, you know. You know, it's like, not good oh, if gotta... her and her mom are working together because that means she They're got. Deep. No, her mom, her mom her used her as a yeah. referral. Yeah. yeah. And then now, I mean, it's been like. You know, three... it's bad when you're like, uh, uh, daughter, will you yeah. <laughs> use my referral? You want to make some real fucking money? Yeah. Come on. And now it's been like three years. I haven't seen her like post anything about it. So I don't know if they got out or if they just got broke or. Oh, fuck. How it works. But. Mm. I don't yeah. know. My brother had a friend that did the Cutco knives thing, and they basically sold him. They're like, "Here, this is like a thousand dollars worth of knives. All you have to do is is uh, pay for you like buy your own inventory as a salesman, and then you turn around and sell it for this much, and then you take home the profit." And and uh, it was my brother's friend, and he bought like several hundred dollars worth of knives, and then he turned around and who are you going to sell to first? your fucking family because they're trying to help you out. Yeah. He turned around and, uh, well, I don't think his family bought anything, but my mom bought <laughs> hundreds of dollars worth of knives. Oh. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. And he, he was her big, or she was, uh, his biggest customer for the stupid so, knives. And I don't think he sold them to anybody else. He was just like, it sold it to his own family and then scam. to his friend's mom. Do, and do then realized it was a scam. Knives? Yeah, she does. Yeah. Are they, are they any good? They're yeah. they're decent. They're I wouldn't say they're good. They're definitely just like stamped steel knives. They're all right. The yeah, serrated the ones are actually pretty good. They have like serrated knives that also have like an edge on them in a way. Besides the serration, and the serration's very strange. And so there's like no way to sharpen them that I can think of, but they haven't gone dull yet. And they'll they'll tear the fuck out of a steak on or something like that. On Amazon, a Cutco 19-piece kitchen knife set mm -hmm. is $1,600. Yeah. What, for why? For what for reason why? could that put possibly the, cost that much? I don't know. I don't. No, so this is the general consensus. The product is actually not bad. The way that they sell it is like a fucking weird little I'm, pyramid I'm scheme. Like, is that how much... Knives cost in a no. wood thing? No. Who go the get, fuck is spending $1,500 on knives? Go get some hinkles or something like that. You can get them for like 150 bucks or something like that. Like a full set. Nobody's spending that much on knives. All the comments? Or do you think these yeah. are people that are part of this? It's got really positive reviews and they're all like, best knives on the planet. Go buy these. From my knives. son. Buy, yeah. <laughs> buy them no, from but my not, son. They're just saying buy. <laughs> but like, what kind of sick fuck? I don't know, He's going to spend that much money on knives. That's pissing me off, actually. Yeah. No, I, 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 got, I got Abby what I consider way too nice of a knife set by Wustoff. It was a couple hundred bucks. And I'm like, don't let your fucking I, parents touch this when they come over. Like, it's that, like that level of knife where I'm like, we shouldn't. And honestly, maybe like $30 a knife or something. Like, it's not that expensive. So but, one of my step family gave me just a block of knives, and they seem pretty good. I'm that's some adult there. shit. Once you got a little block, Dude, I like I'm the gonna block. go up there and fucking Google that brand, see if I can resell these for a couple k. You know, yeah. I'm about to make bank. I'm gonna go door to door. <laughs> you want these cutting knives? They're not. They're cool. Yeah, I did. I think I lost it. It, it is cool though because it came with a big cleaver, and I use oh, that yeah. to uh, cut pizzas. Oh, I use my pizzas. cleaver for quesadillas. Ah, so yeah. it's like a Mexican pizza. Yeah, see, I don't do much cooking, but I like those knives for if I'm in the kitchen, I hear a, something outside. Oh, you, you pull out a kitchen knife? Well, there's one that's like this big. My oh. watch just came off. Yeah, this Rolex good, just good, fucking unclasps. <laughs> good fella style. You pull out the yeah. big 12 inch kitchen knife. It's like a little sword. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah. The, uh,. Know. I think I think um, I've always wanted one of those kitchens with like the little magnetic strip, and you put the knives on it. You oh, ever seen yeah. one of those? In one where I used to work, they had one of those in the like commercial kitchen. They yeah, had knives stuck all over. It. That seems cool as hell. My brother had like a very specific knife. My mom got him. You know, it's like ja this Japanese forged steel, and he wouldn't let anyone else touch this special knife. Yeah, and someone I, I a new person him. did at one point, and it fell. And like the very, very tip of it, like broke off or something. Uh -huh. 
Uh huh. And he's just never really recovered from that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, you know, now that you bring that up, I'm I'm on his side through and through because yeah, I, I mean, got I, I got like Abby that nice money. knife set, and then there's little fillet knives that are part of it, very thin, long knives. Mm-hmm. And her mom turns around and is like carving a turkey with it and trying to hack through the thigh bone with a fucking knife, chips the the uh, actual blade which by the way now that's in the meat somewhere we have a like a sharp edge and yeah. she's like damn these knives don't cut where shit i'm like fuck it, it's the wrong tool for the job bitch yeah. you're using a fillet knife to try to hack through a femur on a turkey it's not going to work phillips had to put a <laughs> screw in you dumb bitch yeah, i was yeah. pissed about it yeah cuz she fucking broke the knife and um and i've also noticed that other people don't sharpen knives I'm the only person that apparently knows how to sharpen a fucking kitchen knife. And so, yeah, there are some knives in the kitchen where I'm just like, Abby, even you, the lady that cooks everything, get your fucking hands off that knife, okay? That's for this guy only. I sharpen it. I maintain it. You keep breaking stuff. This one's mine. Yeah. So I get a little tester keep it, to hear the metal. Keep it on my hip. Yeah. I don't, cool. I don't leave it in the kitchen. I just keep it on my hip. I go in there and pull it out when I want to use it. Keep it in your bag. Yeah. In the bag. I've noticed Devin didn't reply to the bag picture at all. I noticed that. That kind of concerned me. You can see mine actually hanging from the rocket. Very nice. Ready to go at a right moment's where, notice. Yeah, I've got a got a whore's yeah. gun in there and a yeah. couple and a fake passport and some money. It's my go bag. That's your go bag. That's yeah. awesome. I, uh, he brought in that it up. To kill myself. I was <laughs> I, I was kind of concerned that. You know, he, he didn't reply or anything. Yeah, wait, what did he what did he say? Did he say like my girlfriend has it or something? That's or? what he said. Yeah, he's like my girlfriend took my bag. He fought so hard for that bag, and was I, like, I'm oh, not buying it. Tears, I'm not buying tears. It. He was almost crying. He was like, oh, I want the bag. He gets the bag, gets home. Girlfriend takes it. He didn't want the bag that much. I've seen okay. his girlfriend, dude. She wants something Prada. She wants something Gucci. Okay, she does yeah. not want this little fucking stinker bag in her eyes. Now oh. she doesn't know. That it's actually very high tech. Yeah. And it's got lots of zippers. <laughs> and it's from a really good brand that I yeah. can't remember. But I'm thinking Devin just Oh, you're in it for the stream elements. I'm in it for the Topo design. No, I'm, I'm a brand Topo loyalist. designs. Listen, okay. But also <laughs> I don't hate that it's got, you know, it's limited a dish. Yeah. Devin's is also limited a dish. Well, now his girlfriend's even... bag is limited edition, and I don't think she even fucking knows what stream elements is. I don't think she cares. And he was making such a big fuss over that bag. Probably a tampon brand or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Devin was like ready to fucking fight tooth and nail for that bag. And poor Omid yeah. doesn't even have any type of bag, really. Because you fuck? immediately bought one. Yeah. You could have bought two, giving him one for Christmas. G- giving Omid one. Uh, you should have bought one better. You should have bought the full backpack. <laughs> Even though it's you know, not- actually, now that you say that, Abby's you friend it? Abby's friend came over and gave her um, a bag for Christmas, and it is the full backpack. What? Yeah, is it from Topo Designs. From Topo Designs. I'm like, where did you find this brand? And she was like, I don't know. I guess she just is. is- that, that's like a three hundred dollar backpack. <laughs> yeah, she got her a, a backpack. Oh, wait, maybe not. They're actually no. I think it was like hundred and twenty bucks or something. Because I went and looked at it. I was like, is this the same ass brand? Yeah. Hell yeah, it is. I love Topo Designs, and I love how generous they are. Yeah. <laughs> Which is giving away free bags, kind of. Mm, they didn't I mean, give they one did. to me, but yeah. Well, there was only two left, and I yeah. I kind of spotted them. <laughs> so they have wow, they have. I'm just browsing their website now. I shouldn't be doing this, but they have a lot of variety, guys. We need to get a sponsorship by them. Topo Maybe. Designs. No, we're we podcasters. We're not going to get cool. No, but we'll do it for we'll, for like the hiking trip. We'll be like, we'll wear a Topo Designs mm. fanny pack. We already have them. Yeah. If you, you know, give us like a bunch of other shit. Or oh, something. dude, or I just had a very bad flashback. We I remember when we were planning our, our hiking trip. I contacted road microphones oh, yeah. and I was like, I need some gear for a big hike I'm doing and I'll shout you guys out and we'll have it'll be like. I just need like a bunch of lav mics and a bunch of other crap audio for the for the uh, the hiking video, and then I'll turn around and be like, "Hey, this was made possible by Road or whatever." They're like, "Cool." They sent me like a lot of hike or a lot of audio equipment, 
and then the hiking video got postponed for like over a year. And then we went on it and I forgot that they had given me all that stuff. Oh my God. You never. And I never, I never did like a thanks road. W- did they contact you? No. <laughs> so you just scammed them? I, <laughs> you just got a bunch yeah. of free shit? They, I mean, they sent me, it's like a $500 shotgun mic that they sent me. Yeah. Oh my God. Did they, <laughs> you don't have to send any of it back? I, Dude, I need like no. some real, I can get free beer, which is awesome. Yeah. But like. I see all these other streamers that have got these cool little, like, oh, look at the swag bag these people sent me. Oh, look, like, Stream Elements sent me this. Oh, I've Rhodes noticed that some that. streamers get, even if they're not pulling big numbers, yeah. I think it's your, I think it has to do with your persona. Yeah, your persona. Like, are you a, are you a businessy type Twitch person? Because there's people out there that get, like, just weird shit sent to them from production companies, or not production, Dude, publishers. Even- Listen, I'm not you know pocket watching. I had to fight. This is the only thing I've ever gotten, and it's from a dead game. This is the Dread Hunger, <laughs> Dread Hunger. Oh my god, uh, I forgot about press that kit. Yeah, that's sweet. And it's a little box, and it has really a, cool. It has a little crypto thing in here that had a a little message really in cool. it, and uh, and they were like, "I guess we'll send you one." I'm like, "Bitch!" Like I have a. I have multiple Dread Hunger videos that have almost a million views. Like, come on. Name me another a Twitch streamer that you're sending this little press kit to that has numbers like that. But they don't care about YouTubers. All those publishers, they only care about streamers. The closest I ever got, Dying Light 2 people asked me my glove size in an email. And I replied and they never replied back. Mm. But I almost got a pair of Dying Light 2 gloves. That's pretty cool. Which would have been really cool. Yeah. And Freddie Wong almost was going to send me that pipe strip mug, which I'd yeah. count as a win. I mean, that'd be the coolest thing I have. He laughed I when we talked to him. And that's that's a win for me, is making Freddie Wong laugh and have a nice little jolly conversation. He remembers us, I assume. That's payment I, enough for me. I think we're like pretty... I would say we're past acquainted. <laughs> yeah. We're in between really good acquaintances and really good friends. I think of it like... In a situation where I'm in the rain, I'm lost, I'm scared, yeah. and I'm in L.A., I need a can, I call up, dollars. can I call up Freddie Wong, and will he let me sleep on his couch? And I think the answer to that question is yes. I think if I, if I called him up, or I don't have his phone number, and yeah. we haven't talked in you, years, but if I DM'd him on Twitter yeah. and I was like, help, I'm lost, he would probably yeah. get in his car and come pick me up. And if I DM'd I him... He'd send me the address. I'd go out there in the rain. He'd just throw the mug at me from his window and it'd break on the street. And then he'd shut the window and shut the curtains. He would do a big Lebowski where he just hits you in the face with the, with the mug. Wee. Yeah. I'm very uh, sad, by the way. Dread Hunger, the servers are officially gone. They, oh, that sucks. I, actually, I think in seven days, the servers are gone. So by the time this goes live, the servers will have been dead on Dread Hunger. And you will no well, longer be able to play. Thank you for it. this little thing, and yeah. it was a good time. Thanks for this. My daughters love it because they can go look. There's letters, and they spin it, and that's about it. I don't even think this is in the game. I don't know why you guys had this as your little item. Yeah, shouldn't it be like a bone or something? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Whatever's in that game, bones. I, I thought that game seals. was popping for with like Chinese players. It was for two months. If you look at the the Steam charts. It had like some it had some um, some people playing it in the U.S. and then it dropped off and then like China discovered it and it got up to like sixty or seventy thousand concurrent players, just huge. That's and like got tired those are like it. rust numbers, yeah. And then it was gone for in like a month or two. They, basically, nobody was playing it. And then I went and looked at it recently. Nobody. It's completely completely empty. Goddamn shame. Yeah, it's a damn shame, man. That's a good game. And it was pretty fun. I didn't like playing it with you because you were so knowledgeable of it, but it was I, good. That's one of those poorly balanced uh, social deduction games where the the bad guys really don't have to do anything. There's a lot of those, like um, Project Winners the same way, where it's like the yeah, bad guy honestly doesn't have to do anything. He can kind, he could actually just play along and act like he's trying to finish the objectives, <laughs> and he'll probably win nine times out of ten. The cold will kill him. Or those, those games are kind of like 
they're kind of fading out a little right now. I mean, I, I, I feel like they just were so big for a while. They they'll come back. They'll come back. Like, yeah. I, dude, I'm, that, I don't want to be that guy, but that's why I'm a huge first class trouble fan. And I think that's what sets it apart. Nobody else likes that game, but me. Is that if you try to do that play style where you just play along as the bad guy, as if you're a good guy, if you make it to the end and there's a bad guy still alive, the bad guys win. You have to make sure to eradicate the bad guys. And so it is a genuine play style to just be like, I'm not a bad guy. Look, I'm doing the objectives. Yeah. I'm trying to bring us towards the end because that is a way to win. And that game, you can get some pretty sneaky shit done. It's a good game. Yeah, it's another one where there's just like you and Fungal just knew like exactly what to fucking do. Yeah, and and Stalt's like going to be on game. your side for this one. He yeah. fucking groans. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, you, Sam and Fungal always reading the fucking logs. Assholes, they put the logs yeah. in the game so I can read them. All right. That's the how you get information. Meta abuser. Meta abuser. Meta abuser. I want to try, try Perfect Heist too. I bought that and have not played it once. We need to play it. Yeah. I That'd looked be, it up though, and there was like a hundred people playing it. Like, no, that's that's kind of like Intruder, where you have to make your own lobby. lobby. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. What we'll do? Yeah. If okay. We we have that the little streamer uh, group. Oh yeah, yeah. It, set it some moment. Yeah, we'll rename it. We haven't done like, anything, dude. I haven't played a game with like Omid in months. Um. Or you know what you need to do a long is time. Well, he's always streaming. No, the, shit. the wow. last the last time we played was that uh, uh Friday the Thirteenth game, not Friday the Thirteenth. Uh, oh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That game yeah. rocked. That game yeah, was, was awesome. That was a fun. It was time. a lot of fun. Yeah, never played it again. That's how it goes with like most games. What the fuck? At least is for wrong me, with like, what's wrong with us? Yeah, I'll just I used play to have five and games and I would have a blast playing them over and over again. Now yeah. I have 350 fucking games. I never even play any of them. Yeah. What the I fuck? just feel like if I'm really bored, I'll just go through them. No, yeah. no, yeah, no. Man. Yeah. I have a bunch of games in my library I've never even started up, I think. I just bought on sales and shit. Yeah. Uh, I Horizon something where they're like they're zero hunting. Dawn. Yeah, Zero Dawn Horizon or whatever. They're yeah. like hunting mech animals, mech dinosaurs. I saw that and said, that's a cool looking game. Bought it. Full price. I haven't even Tarkov. opened it, dude. Yeah, yeah. I haven't opened it. I was I'd like, rather oh. play League of Legends or Tarkov, the two games I've always played. <laughs> I like these more. Dude, I, uh, the new uh, League mode, I think it's been arena? before. But yeah, Arena oh. with eight players is so fun. Yes, we've been doing the customs where you just get oh, yeah. eight dude, of your yeah, homies. It's really, yeah. it's really fun. I think they just took it away last night, though. Yeah, at, at the end is, of every round, you have to, everybody rotate. Because... Yeah. In eight people, there's going to be that one person where everybody's like, oh, I'm teamed up with him. He sucks. That's me. And yeah. then two of my friends are insanely good. And it's don't let on, them team up. Their team wins every time. Yeah. Well, what we do is like everyone clicks. Like we do three, two, one. Everyone clicks one of the trade. And then it takes like three seconds for them all to go through. So then everyone clicks it at the same time. Everyone takes their hands off. And then it like shuffles people around for like five seconds. And then those teams are like, you're random teams mm. how do you do uh champ pick uh we do t uh two randoms and a suicide gotcha uh, we do and no bands yeah that's basically the same thing we have yeah. except for muscle tries making it more yeah i guess the suicide is like you get the two picks and then the third one you can re-roll and you have to do that one yeah yeah i don't like that i just go just you do you two Okay, don't complicate. Just do two. I like the suicide because it adds to like, the uh, two. oh, fuck. I, <laughs> I mean, I don't know any, like, I don't know who I'm playing half the time anyways. I mean, I, if it's not Teemo yeah. or Echo or Blitzcrank, those are like the three people I've ever played well, a lot. Last so. time I got on, they just added, it's not even like a, a creature or a champ anymore. It was just like a little portuguese boy like it was just like a little there's, yeah there's also a ton of champs where i'm like what is that it was like it's a woman that's like a stingray or yes, something yeah. like, no, she's it? like female valdo or something like that she's like on a she's creepy I oh no like i know what you're talking about yeah she's like a bat like a head hugger or whatever there's now a new lady that's just like strapped to some bdsm device and just goes through <laughs> the lane like this like zillion like female that's zillion awesome. but kinky She's on the anti-masturbation <laughs> cross. Yeah, yeah. She looks like some sort of Hellraiser lady. And uh, oh, ooh, Hellraiser, Christ. 
Yeah, creepy. Dude, those movies rock, by the way. They aged I, perfectly, and I think they're just weird enough that uh, I watched the first one for the first time ever on acid because one of my friends is like insane, you know. He's just like, oh yeah, like let's let's watch this. Will be awesome. And it, him and I were like Take the this. only people still up. <laughs> yeah. No, we were like kind of coming down, but I already don't like gore a lot, and that movie was just like. Oh, it's you know, visceral. Like, oh, yeah, I was very freaked out. Yeah, I couldn't it's imagine so, like watching so... Event Horizon fucked up too. It's the same yeah. kind of, um, it's a different type of gore where it's it's some people do gore where it's Wait, absurd. Event Horizon that but... sounds really familiar. Is when... that like in space? Yeah, it's like the spaceship goes to hell when it goes through a oh. wormhole. You know how I know what this is? Mm. Oh, wait, what the fuck is this? picture oh uh there's oh man i might actually have to watch this you this need to watch that movie that movie cast. rocks yeah uh but someone was i was watching on tiktok like warhammer lore videos and they were explaining that basically that's how their space travel works in that world like when you they go through hell they go through like the hell dimension yeah and they have like certain things that protect them from it or whatever and the top comment was like event horizon is like the closest media we've ever got to portray in like warhammer Space travel. Hmm. That movie is sick. But it's also like, I was trying to think, what's that movie uh, where the guy takes the big lawnmower and he uses it to go through like a wave of zombies? And it's just like, it's absurd gore where it's like, it's like going everywhere. Resident Evil. No, it's not like Resident Evil. But it's uh, the, the gore that's in those like Hellraiser 2 in the first Hellraiser, uh, it's just so, I don't know, it's very disturbed. It's disturbing yeah. gore. It just feels like r real or yeah, something. Yeah, it's, it's more real. It's odd. Practical. It does, like, get under your skin a little bit. Strange. Because they're, like, often, like, getting under people's skin, like, hooking them up and stuff. Yeah. And Have you seen that movie, The Cell? Is that? It, it, where it, they're, like, in the... In the killer's the mind? Killer? Yes, yes, dude. And they saw that a long time ago. That movie was the first time I've ever seen like BDSM type. Like they suspend him from his uh, skin from the ceiling. And uh I hope and I was this like doesn't awaken anything inside of me. <laughs> I was watching, I was like, what the fuck is that? And like we were so weirded out by it. We were like looking it up on the internet. It's, we realized it's like a whole sexual thing. Like people do that. Or they get I'm like suspended. So glad I don't have any insane kinks where I like need to be put into a cube or hung by hooks mm -hmm. or I don't know, like like my balls smashed or something or like yeah, lick a shoe. Well, there's some kinks that are so insanely extreme. It's like you can do it one time. Like there's people that cut off yeah. their balls and stuff. It's like Ugh. how do you get that as a kink? How do you know that's yeah? Your how kink? do you even? How are you so sure that like this is gonna? Because you just think about it and you're like, yeah. Oh, that's going to rock. Yeah. That's, that's, you hot. even watch the BME Pain Olympics jacking yeah. off. You're like, oh, oh, God, imagine, imagine how, how good that felt. Insane pain that guy's in. I bet that so <laughs> makes me want to come. Well, I won't be able to come anymore, but I bet I'll be something. Yeah. <laughs> there, yeah. I feel like a lot of that's more psychological. I don't think I have enough floating around up here for me to have extreme kinks like that. Like I don't my think brain about is that. Too smooth to yeah. activate it. Yeah, the kinks. Like I'm solid. more just turned on by like jiggle boob. <laughs> like whoa, <Yeah. laughs> that's that's my level of hot <laughs> boob jiggle, butt jiggle. I never. I don't get into the uh, headspace of like, what if I cut off, cut it, cut it all off? That could be. Yeah, odd. I've I've never. What if I'm like. I've never Panicking. been dissatisfied enough with my current <laughs> shrink life. tubed into a latex yeah. thing. That'll get my dick hard. No, I think oh, it's like boob works enough. Frozen. If what it if ain't get... broke, don't fix it, dude. <laughs> what if a horse was eating my ass while I got <laughs> shrunk? Yeah. How? How do you even know that that's something that you? What if I were? What if someone were giving birth to me and my feet were pressing on the stomach really hard? <laughs> oh, dude! I have you seen see... the one where the the they lay down, they have like a door put down on top of them, they cut a hole in the door, and they just poke their cock and balls up oh. through the door, and then they have it a lady with high high heels step on their Ooh. dick and balls. I haven't seen the stepping on the dick and balls. Who the fuck orchestrates that? Who says, like, she needs to step on this? 
but I did until they break. In the, in the show, Dave, he has the fetish where he like puts his penis through the hole and then gets milked. Mm. Look at this thing I saw on Facebook. Well, well, wait, no, this is I saw it afterwards on TikTok, which made me sad. Hold on, that's that's what someone did with it. It's this Garfield Aquarium. Oh yeah, here it is. And I saw this for sale. And then I saw someone post that they had one and made it into a little terrarium. All the other ones are loading. I like how we were, was, we're talking about like weird kinks and you're like, no, check out this terrarium. Well, I'm getting there. I'm getting okay. there. Because it. Uh, these other pictures are taking forever to send. It has a backlight in its belly. And I was thinking the way it's positioned, what if I did a little paper cutout inside mm. of it and then put like... Um, basically tried to make it look like i'm inside his belly like pushing mm. with paper okay like some construction paper and stuff and just put it in there and it looks like garfield's like giving birth to me or something interesting or just like feet pressing against it maybe or maybe just an embryo i don't know i don't know how hard it would be have you seen those lcd screens that bend oh i don't like I know no. OLED can they, fold. But yeah, they they have like the flexi ones. Yeah. We could get green screen footage of you like ah! <laughs> beating on a plexiglass yeah. window. And then we get that. We put it <laughs> on like a little Raspberry Pi. Yeah. <laughs> and then we put it on the inside of the fish tank. And so it's like you're stuck in there. Yeah, okay, see chum. Or I could just get yeah. some cardboard paper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or you could do like a little pull out your procreate. It would be better though if I was like ro- like floating around in embryo and then at one point, I'm like, wake up, <laughs> start beating on it. Anyway, I just think he looks like he's giving birth. Like, he looks pregnant the way his arms are. Yeah. You know, and it's the way his hands are. He looks like he's holding yeah, up like, his shirt. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, his tits. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah, his yeah what, that's tits another up. option. What if I put a little shirt fabric where it looks <laughs> like he's lifting up and I give him real tits? <laughs> that could be my kink, I guess. I think that would turn me on <laughs> if Garfield had six tits on him. Yeah. And you were flashing me. <laughs> Dude, some people don't realize they have kinks until they see them, you know. And I'm assuming <laughs> that's scary, a scary thought. You know, you're just, yeah, you just you think like you're normal. And then all of a sudden, one day you see something and you go like, oh, holy fuck. God. I have the weirdest kink out yeah. of them all. I didn't real. I thought I was pretty vanilla until I saw the Garfield Aquarium with pulling his shirt up. Until I found out I could hook up some sort of little computer screen behind it where it looks like I'm trapped in them. <laughs> oh, help me out. I'm locked in here. Oh, Larry, you gotta help me. Oh, little Irish me stuck in there. Oh, fuck. I'm going to jerk off. <laughs> you could put an armad that picture of the armadillo. You could get an armadillo in its ball form and then trap him in that, and he couldn't get out. Oh. Put Dude, him in the is, Garfield. This is the time of day now where it's 5.30. Everybody's calling me. My dad's called me. My brother's called me. Abby's calling me. She, Abby's just like calling to scream at me and go, come upstairs. Yeah. Zach's calling to just bitch to me about his job. And then my dad's like, son, talk to me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Please, son. I'm still here. I'm still standing. <laughs> I'll, I'll yeah, go upstairs and I'll, uh, I'll make a fire in the fire pit and I'll call him. I'm sorry, I missed your call. God. Yeah, I think it's my stop. Da- my dad's birthday tomorrow. I gotta make a phone call later. Be like, what is, what's up, daddy? Uh, anyways, I'm gonna go upstairs, eat some dinner. <laughs> Maybe some pork back. jowls. <laughs> Maybe some pork jowls. I don't know. Okay. Um, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks. <laughs> this is just kind of a this is just standard podcast, I guess. Just talk. Nothing really crazy. Yeah. But in the it's future, right. we may come up with uh, something. Who knows? Yeah, Sam's we'll dad's going to cook up some more ideas. I want a guest. I do want a guest. Yeah, I think we should have a guest. We've had enough hiatus now where we should have somebody I'm excited to talk to. I wish more horrific things happened during my holidays, so I had like a fun tale. Yeah. Nothing really exciting happened. All I had was just some part. Just, yeah, just stuff. It's like meandering around. Again. Yeah, just li- just seeing people and going, yeah. eh, how are you? Eh. Yeah. yeah. Grandma, yeah. you live to another another Christmas. Oh. You're still here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically, basically it. Yeah. That's kind of my grandma's gun. Okay, anyway, though, guys. Uh, we'll see whatever. you later in the yeah, next I'll see you later.